Okay. Can uh, can everybody hear me? Okay. Can uh, can everybody hear me? Okay. Can uh, can everybody hear me? Okay. Can uh... audio is good. Okay. Well, that's a that's a good start. Honestly, you, you know, like. You know, like that nightmare, that classic nightmare that you have where like you're giving a presentation or something to a room full of people and then suddenly like you're completely naked and having sex with the teacher. Yeah, I was pretty worried about that happening. But if you guys can hear me, then at least we've uh, we've achieved something today, right? Wow, are there, are there really 95 people watching this? Oh, Baron. Hey. How's it going? Oh, okay. Cool. Well, let's get this uh, get this on the go. Um, oh yeah. Also, hold on. There's, there's another thing actually I need to do. I realize. Has, has that worked? Can you guys also see me now? Wow. Okay. Great. I actually managed to get that to work. So, uh, guys, today, the thing I'm going to do, I'm pretty sure nobody has ever done before. I'm actually going to play a video game on the internet. I'm going to be here live with you guys speaking and actually playing at the same time, right? I'm pretty sure, I haven't researched it much, but I'm pretty sure nobody has ever done this before. So this is going to be a world's first, regardless of even if I don't make it past the character creation stream, we've achieved something here, right? Uh, but yeah, for on a on a more serious note, um, this is my first time having to focus on uh, actually playing a game and also reading chat messages at the same time. So if I am a little bit slow with it, apologies. Uh, I will do my best to try and keep up. Uh, okay, cool. But uh, yeah, welcome to everyone, and thank you so much for turning up to uh, uh, whatever the hell this is going to be, basically. So um, right, let me just do this. Okay, so um, hopefully you can also hear the game audio now as well as me. Yep, that's right. Uh, on the first video game stream ever. JK is handsome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's very, very kind of you to say. Um, okay. Oh, wow. Uh, Baron, if you don't read all of my chat messages out loud, I'm unsubbing from Patreon and crying into a pillow. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, so... You guys might remember uh, that I tried to beat Dark Souls 1 with knives before. Um, back in uh, June of last year, it was, I think, the first video I ever did where there was no, um, where it basically it was not possible. Like, it was a massive fail, to be honest. It was uh, completely destroyed my sanity. And running around waiting for Ornstein and Smo to die from poison for 30 minutes was uh, pretty awful, to say the least. Um, but, uh, oh, wow. Did someone just donate uh, 10, 10 pounds? Thank you, uh, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much, P PMUX79. Greatly appreciated. Um, so, uh, I didn't, I didn't want to mess around with the character creation while we're on the stream here, because, like, I've already moaned enough about the color sliders in the Dark Souls 1 character creation screen, screen enough, um, and... If you, you know, if I was to just sit here messing around with the sliders, the only thing that would be sliding is my viewership count, right? So, um, but uh, I have managed to make what I think is a pretty, uh, pretty beautiful character, as always. Look at, look at that. Like, do you, do you like the way his, like, brow ridge is just kind of melting over his eyes? Um, yeah. Yeah. Do you ever, I don't know if you guys ever played, like, Mario Party, where there's that game where you have to move Bowser's face around with your hands to make it look like, all weird and distorted, that's kind of what I was going for. So yeah, literally the melting brow man. Fantastic. <laughs> wow, uh, a lot of chat messages. Um, okay, so uh, I, I chose Deprived as a class here just because I wanted to actually show off, uh, show off the beautiful body here. But actually, I'm not going to be going with Deprived. I'm going to be going with Thief. Um, now, the reason that we're going with Thief uh, is because I want the master key and I want to, I would obviously need to pick a different starting gift, being that this is a throwing knife run. Um, oh, Ben Wiseman, thank you very much. Hey, JK, when are we going to get a new dad wrap? 
Um, some, sometime soon, sometime soon. Um, honestly, like I did those couple of raps and then I watched some of Baron's videos where he actually did proper raps with actual music. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm just embarrassing myself at this point. But, you know, if I come up with something on the spot, I'm, you know, I'll spit out a few bars if need be. Um, so anyway, uh, as I was saying, gift, right? Because it's a th uh, throwing knife run, obviously the, the only gift we can really pick is throwing knives, right? I mean, is that usually the gift you guys pick when, um, uh, when you do a throwing knife run? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume yes there. Oh, Scott T. Does the claymore count as a knife? Uh, no, it does not count as a knife. It's, it's a little bit big. It's a little bit big. Um, but, okay, so I think we're, I think we're ready. Shall we, uh, shall we get cracking? Okay. What if you throw the claymore at enemies? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure I can do that with the game as it is. Maybe with a mod we'd be able to, so. Okay, does this why in <laughs> Okay, um, I'm expecting next, does Smo's hammer count as a knife? That's the real question. Does the mod add nuclear explosions to the knives by any chance? Absolutely, absolutely. It's gonna be absolutely brutal. All right. Enough of this. We, we've heard that enough times in probably all of our lives. Yes, the, indeed. Hey, the dark brilliant. Sign brands the undead. And in this land... Does the dragon tooth the count as a knife? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Claymore doesn't, but Dragon Tooth definitely does. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Oh good, JK Baron, thanks to your videos, I was able to get the motivation to finish Dark Souls 1 and 3. Awesome. This Did you like them? Did you enjoy them? Are you going to play Dark Souls 2? Alright, enough for this. Um, how, how's the audio, by the way? Is the, is the game audio quite loud? Or is it all right? Does Firestorm count as a knife? <laughs> Good volume. Okay, great. Okay, well, let's get going then, shall we? We've got just uh, 20 throwing knives. Hold on, wait. Sorry, what am I doing? I'm an idiot. Can't be running around with all this shit on. Okay, there we are. That's much better. Beautiful. Just look at that. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Ba Baron actually sent me a few photos uh, via DM, and he looked a, a little bit like that with the faces he was pulling. They were much appreciated. I've actually printed them off and put them on my wall. Okay. <clears throat> so, we got just 20 throwing knives. Um, which, hopefully, uh, do you think that's going to be enough to take down the Asylum Demon? There we go. Great. So, on today's episode of Naked and Afraid, we investigate the night. <laughs> awesome. Um, so, did you guys, like, did you hear the, this new crazy law theory that came out? Um, basically saying that all of the royal family, like Gwyn and everyone, was really controlled by a secret society of asylum demons all working behind the scenes. Yeah, they're called the Asyluminati. Okay, if anyone's still in here, let's go and do the Asylum Demon. <laughs> Cricket. <laughs> oh, look at that damage. To me, obviously. I'm actually going to die to the Asylum Demon here. I can feel it. I can feel it. I'm... A, I'm on the very first stream, I'm going to die to the Asylum Demon. Look at that damage, though. That damage is not bad. Oh. 
boom. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie, my, my heart was actually racing there that I was gonna embarrass myself and die to the asylum demon straight away. <clears throat> oh wow, you dig. Welcome to the Naifu Faithful. Excellent. Okay, um, right, so you're, you're, probably, uh, you're probably looking at that damage and wondering what the hell is going on there because if you saw the other video, if you saw the other video, then obviously you know that uh, yeah, throwing knife damage is, uh, is not normally that good. So what this is, uh, there's, it's a mod, obviously, uh, by a chap who is actually here in the chat, uh, Pepe Souls, um, who basically has made this mod where throwing knives are a bit more viable. They do a bit more damage, and there's a couple of different varieties of knives as well. Yep, there he is, Pepe Souls. Thank you very much. Um, so in theory, it should actually be possible to beat the game with throwing knives here. So, um, it is worth noting though, that although that damage probably looks awesome there, there's still no scaling for these knives compared to the other games. So there is literally, you know, that damage, although it looks good now, it, it's not getting any better, right? It's not getting any better, but there are some, uh, yeah, there are, there are some other, other kind of knives in here which, um, which, yeah, hopefully will get us through. And there's a couple of other small changes as well. But in any case, it should be possible. I'm going to try and just get as far as I can. I'm going to be streaming for about three hours tonight. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know if I'll be able to beat the game in that time. I'm, unfortunately, I'm not Gamers Weekend who can just, like, smash through Dark Souls in about 30 minutes. But look at that. A hollows die in, in one hit from the goddamn knives. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is really Knife Styles of the Rich and Famous. That's what this stream's going to be called. Right. Let's go up here and have an absolute ball, shall we? There we go. Bam. Get this door open down here. Ah, a cane. Hey, buddy. Yep, go back to your editing hole. Enjoy, my friend. Okay, um, do I do I hit Oscar with a throwing knife? Is that an appropriate thing? To, I think it probably is, isn't it? Yeah. Boom. It's my knife and it's now or never. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. Excellent. Okay. Um, well, hold on. What am I doing? I, I don't even need to go up there now, do I? Because I've killed the asylum demon. First try with throwing knives, right? Are you going to... Is there any other Souls Challenge runner that's done that? I'm, I'm going to say probably not. Probably not. World's first. World's first, guys. In fact, two world's first in one stream. First, we play, we play a game, and oh, okay, that was that was, uh, that was a fail. Um, okay, um, yeah, two two worlds first in one stream. Um, so let's just uh, let's just keep on keep on going. Okay, yeah, I got a little bit a little bit too excited there and uh, ran off without grabbing the key. Um, but yeah, two worlds first in one stream managed to uh, actually play a video game and speak at the same time. J just about, to be honest. I, I struggle even like walking and breathing at the same time. Um, but we managed to do that and we managed to first try the Asylum Demon with throwing knives. So, wonderful. First person in the world to ever play the game Dark Souls. Yeah, that's it. Have you, have you guys even heard of this game? Like, I think it's pretty on the down low. Um, okay. Uh, can we run the Elite Knife Armor? <laughs> Asylum Demon is such a test of the player that they put him into Elden Ring 73 times. Well, yeah, I mean, which, which is good because he's a great boss. I mean, not as good Only as God's, Godskin Duo, right, Baron? That's uh, your all-time favorite boss, stated. I think. Have you still got that notebook filled with all the hearts and Godskin Duo One written next to it? An undead shall be chosen. Oh, good. This, yeah, this is my first to experience with it. Excellent. Well, good. I'm glad I got to show you guys something that you've never seen before. To the land what a hidden chest. Yep, not called the Godskin Duo for nothing. Yeah, that's right. It Lord. is the new game from the guys who made Armored Core, and it is a sequel to Sekiro. It's very similar, actually. The combat is, like, almost one for one with Sekiro, down to posture meters and all that crap. Is this the end? <laughs> yeah, lies of... Yeah, actually, do you know what? Um, do you know what it is? It's actually a rip-off of Lords of the Fall in 2013, voted by Press Continue magazine as the greatest game of all time. 
What armor are you going to use? You, you, you haven't watched many of my videos, have you? Because, uh, yeah, we, we don't really do armor. We're, we're quite into, you know, nudity and stuff. Um, Mario is the original Souls like. Um, so, obviously, we've only got 10 knives now. So, really, priority has to be, you know, getting to the merchant to buy some more. Um, I'm debating whether I should level up health or not. Part of me is just like, nah, I should just, uh, just ran through. Um, what other ring other than favor? Um, yeah, good question. Maybe something like steel protection. Okay, do we... Yes, we one hit that guy. Fantastic. Okay, I need to, I need to actually not miss with any of these. Come on. Yeah, okay. All good. Can't wait for the Atari <laughs> remaster of this game. Yeah, I think it's going to come on out on the NES as well sometime soon. Oh, fuck. There we go. Okay. Okay. Um, also, just to mention, I do tend to keep my videos pretty, like, PG um, and don't really swear much, but I, I don't know if I'll be able to have that kind of self-restraint here. So if you do hear a couple of uh, swears from me, apologies. Hopefully nobody's uh, offended by such foul language. Be glad I didn't add weight to the knives. Yeah, I am greatly appreciative. Of, I'm great, eh, greatly appreciative of that. Boosh! There we go. All right, four knives left. I, I need to uh, need to stop pissing about here, don't I? All right, let's just go and grab this. Ah. So, what have you guys all been doing today? Any anyone doing anything exciting? I pretty much just. Uh, my wife's been playing that. Um, uh, my wife's been playing Kana Bridge of, Bridge of Spirits. Um, so just been kind of watching her play that and uh, yeah hanging out with uh, our son who we just put to bed before this uh, before this stream oh no oh no he blocked it oh shit oh shit don't die to the hollows don't die to the unberg undead berg hollows okay playing ds2 oh yeah I think uh, I think a certain wolf based youtuber just released a ds2 video today I'm getting my hair braided and then helping my grandparents with things around the house. Well, that's nice. Ooh, ooh. Oh, played the start of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Nice. Nice. I, uh, I still need to actually play the first one. Trying to get Mitha NG Plus for extra supering. I woke up today. Hey, sometimes, uh, sometimes that's uh, all you can do. Sometimes that's the best you can do. Right. Uh, made a fancy pizza. Oh, you got a Greg's earlier. Excellent. How long do you plan on streaming? Um, probably for another, like, two and a half hours, something like that. Just sort of see how far I can get. Uh, God, I, I need to make it past these guys. I need to get more knives. I need to get more knives! Okay, here we go. Uh, right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Good that these guys don't follow you down here. That's uh, surprisingly kind of this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, you crusty tosser. Right. Throwing knives. So, they're 25 souls a pop. Uh, we can actually only carry 50 of them on us. Um, I'm going to buy the bottomless box as well, because that's going to help with inventory management. So, that, yeah, that's a trade-off. You could carry 99 originally. Um, so, but carrying 50 now is not so bad, because these knives, they do, like probably like three or four times as much damage as the knives in the base game we're doing so yeah uh why can't you just throw the enemies at each other this is what i've been asking you know i emailed miyazaki and i didn't get a bloody response from him okay right let's get going oh what a knife okay so was your email in Japanese? You, well, yes, but it was like, you know, I shoved it into Google Translate, basically, so who knows what the hell it said. You know what? I, you, I just saw someone mention you can throw enemies at each other in Baldur's Gate 3. Um, all right, so controversial hot take. Um, my wife and I played Baldur's Gate 3 um, because we were really excited about the prospect of having a co-op RPG, um, like split, split screen, um, and we got it, played it for about three hours, and then um, uninstalled it. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, just didn't, didn't really like it. Didn't really like it. Um, which, uh, yeah, it was a bit of a shame because I, I really, I really was like looking forward to it from all the reviews and stuff, but yeah, just didn't really do it for me. He asked, did you really like me in Japanese? Yeah, the email was, uh, was pretty cursed to be fair. All right. Um, 
Well, I'm kind of in that situation where I don't really want to, you know, waste any knives. Uh, so, shall we just run to the tourist demon? Yep, there's my wife there, Babsa Jr. Uninstalled and never spoke of it ever again. That's how much, uh, that's how much she enjoyed Baldur's Gate 3. Okay, run, 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 run. Okay, I'm doing alright. I haven't had a you died yet, but I'm pretty sure that's going to come sometime soon. Yeah, very soon, very soon. Almost imminently. Okay, come on. Ah, oh, that was... Oh god, oh god, oh god. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay. One good thing about throwing knife runs and just consumable runs, I guess, in general, is that uh, you don't actually need to uh, bother with, like, crystal lizards and titanite and all of that kind of shit, so... Okay. By the way, since when is it allowed to be a soul streamer and have a wife? That doesn't seem compatible. <laughs> well... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess I'm just, like, special or something, Press. Don't know, man. And also, considering it's my first stream, I'm only a soul streamer as of today. So, you know, she could divorce me right after this stream finishes. You know, so let's let's try and not jinx it. Happy knife, happy life. Yeah, you know it. You know it. So, I, I, I was trying to... I was sat here before the stream, right? And I was thinking about... I was thinking about the tourist demon, and I was like, oh, I need to come up with some kind of joke about his name, um, because people are going to be expecting puns, and I was just frantically scrolling through words that are similar to tourist, you know? Basically, I took a long look through the The Taurus book, and I didn't find any, unfortunately, so there are no jokes, I apologize, but anyway, uh, right, bad, <laughs> yes, very much so, all right. Taurus Demon, am I going to do it first try? Am I going to absolutely choke? Okay, come on. Sometimes you just got to take the bull by the horns, you know? Right, there you go. Ooh, ooh. He's probably upset because I'm a different star sign from him. I'm actually a Libra. Okay. Also, we got stagger on him there from a throwing knife. Did you see that? Which is pretty wild. Oh god, oh god, don't choke to the tourist demon. <laughs> okay, well that was inevitable. Fill him with knives and he'll become the poorest demon. Oh, that's a good one, that's a good one. Okay, um, damn, okay. Well, yeah, I still need to get used to the fact that throwing knives do uh, kind of lock you in place in this one. They're not the speedy, speedy throwing knives from Elden Ring. Obviously, the most superior Souls game of all time. Chokes immediately. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. At least this barrel isn't here now. I'm probably th probably this is going to just be the whole rest of the stream. Literally, just me choking to the tourist demon over and over again. Okay. Best game with the words Elden and Ring in the title. Yeah, definitely true. Okay, there we go. These guys are nice and simple. Bush, bush. Yeah, instantly choke. There we go. Well, so what other types of knives are new? Well, I guess we'll we'll get to that when we when we get to it. But yeah, there's poison knives, and I think there are some bleed knives. I believe there's even some toxic knives a little bit later on. And also, the resistances of the uh, bosses to those status conditions have been edited. So I think most bosses can actually be affected by them. So again, it gives us a chance with stuff like the Four Kings, which would uh, before have just been not even remotely possible. Okay, go push. Bush. There we go. Okay, so four knives in sort of rapid succession actually staggers him. Okay, come on. Oh, caught me with a little bit of the aftermath, but it's okay. Okay, come on. Run away! Go, bush. Bush. Okay, is it one more? 
Nope, one more after that. Boom. Okay, second try. Second try. Um, I mean, that's pretty poor, to be honest. This is the worst thing about streaming, because now you guys are actually going to see how terrible I am at these games. But, yeah, there we go. Thank you, Baron. Pew, pew, whoosh, thwack. Man, those knives do be throwing. Yep, first try. That's actually what it was. It was it was the first try. Thank you for uh, pointing that out. GG, man. You're so good at this game. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. That really boosts my confidence. Wow, Mr. Leeds looks different than I expected. What, did you? were you expecting green skin and pink hair? No, I actually, this is actually all, like, uh, skin color makeup to hide the greenness. It doesn't appear too well on the camera. Okay, right. Uh, let's go. Do, do, do. Okay. Come on, 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 come on. Don't get burnt, don't get burnt. Oh, oh. Okay. Good stuff. All right, well, probably need to already stock up on some new... Uh, some new knives as well, don't we? So, f funny story, when, I, when I, I did a little bit of a test of this mod before going live, because obviously, you know, it's kind of the sensible thing to do, right? And um, I, w I actually got through to this bit, and I dropped down from here without kicking the ladder down, um, which was uh, a, an enormous fail. So, yeah, I, I made a mental note not to do that while I'm live. Okay. No jolly cooperation. No, I mean... Yeah, I, I think I think summoning uh, Solaire for a throwing knife run is probably uh, probably cheating. There we go. Okay. I mean, what ideally what I need to do is like go buy 50 knives and then go drop them in the item box and then come back and buy another 50 knives. Um, so yeah, I think maybe maybe I'll do that now just to save a bit of time later. Okay. There we go. Okay. Can throw Solera at a boss for Jolly Corporation. Now that sounds like a mod I could get down with. Mentally kicked yourself for not kicking the ladder. Yep, 100%. How often will you stream? I, I don't know, to be honest with you. I, I legit have no idea. Um, I sort of just on a whim decided to give this a go um, because I got that whole new setup with the mic and uh, also the acoustic foam and that for better sound. So um, yeah, I don't know, maybe like one, once, a, once a week, once or twice a week. Oh, the Power Sans Emerald Herald mod. Sure, surely Challenger Andy's got to be getting on that. If anyone can do it, he can. Soler has the electric knife. Um, is Babsa going to make a special appearance, Mr. Leeds? I, I mean, uh, I don't. I'm not sure if she'll come in here on camera. On camera, but she is uh, lurking around in the chat somewhere, I believe. It's nice. It's nice to see you streaming. Indeed, it's a wonderful knife after all. Right. Okay. So, quiet, quiet, ah. okay. Um, yeah, I actually was going to go back and buy more knives after putting them in the box, but I decided not to slash completely forgot. So YOLO, I, I guess. I don't know. Let's see what the hell happens here. And no, before you say it, I'm not going to start chucking knives at this guy. Can you use the force miracle to make yourself some breathing room? Nah. Nah, nah, I, th I think that's probably uh, probably not allowed. It's just knives and that's about it, really. Is that dragon using the underrated Pyromancy Firestorm? Uh, no, it's actually using Fire Tempest, which is even more underrated, actually. I'm not sure I've even seen anyone kill any enemy with that. Taking another stab at this challenge? You're damn right I am. Okay. Um, can you use the claymore for some breathing room? Um, no, definitely not. Um, okay. Bush. Oh no, it didn't kill him in one hit. Fuck. Oh dear. Don't die to a hollow. Don't die to a hollow. Okay, there we go. Now, can you use Comet Azor to one shot Ishin? Yes. Actually, weirdly enough, all that stuff, other stuff isn't allowed, but that is allowed 100%. Okay. Yeah, the knives, the damage of the knives has really fallen off. Like really fallen off. Yeah, it's um yeah, it's not good. We need to oh, well, I so I said before that I wasn't going to be using any armor, but um to be honest, for the Capra demon, I might have to like 
go farm some souls and basically go and get the stone armor because trying to trying to do that without is going to be absolute hell but maybe i'll uh do a little level up vitality is pretty much the only thing that's going to be that useful here so let's get a little bit more health mr lee's what mods are you using here well um it's a custom mod made by a guy in the chat here called pepe souls um and uh yeah, basically it just makes throwing knives a little bit better and adds a couple of different varieties of throwing knives. So, um, so yeah. Oh, look at all the, those little uh, heart emojis there. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, why is it called Dark Souls when all the souls are bright? Wouldn't Bright Souls be a better name? Yeah, that's true. Um, there, there was a, uh, there was a, there's an old video I made which um, basically was me kind of complaining about the second half of Dark Souls 1. And particularly, I voiced my displeasure at uh, ever having to go through Tomb of the Giants. And there was quite a few comments basically saying, you're an idiot, you don't know what you're talking about. Tomb of the Giants is an absolutely incredible area. Um, and, you know, which is to be expected. Um, but, uh, oh my god, as if that guy managed to hit me still. Um, but basically, there was one of the comments was like basically saying exactly that. Oh, I think I just headshot that guy. One of the comments was basically saying, um, yeah, of, of course it's dark in there. It's called Dark Souls, not Light Souls, you idiot. Or I think I think he said you casual. Or, I don't know, something uh, something like that. Oh, this isn't knife related, but apparently Alien Arm Farm have released a new single after what, like 20 years? Excellent. Excellent. Thank you for that. Humanities are the reasons for the Dark Souls. I mean, that's actually the reason for the name. Yeah, valid, valid point. Yeah, I mean, I was surprised by that too. Who thinks Tomb of the Giants is a good area? But there, trust me, there were a lot of comments to that video basically saying like Tomb of the Giants was one of the best areas in the whole game. Um, but that's the thing I've kind of realized about the internet. Like you, you get people who just have any number of different opinions. Um, yeah, alien ant farm, are they still okay? Um, does power within work with throwing knives? So, so, good question. No, as far as I understand, buffs still do not affect throwing knives in any way. Um, so, yeah, good point. Good point, though. Okay. Okay. Um, right, so shall we... Uh, oh, I was just about to go get some Andres from Upgrade, but then I realized, obviously, we're not doing that this run. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, do you know what? What was even crazier, right? Um, one of the so anyone who's followed the channel for quite a long time, maybe saw that I used to do like ranking videos and stuff like that. Um, and you know, in one of them, I, I did. I talked about the worst runbacks, and obviously the worst runback, I you know, for me and probably for everyone, is frigid outskirts, right? And there was no joke, more than one comment of people defending the frigid outskirts, like. Like, one guy was like, it's an incredible example of FromSoft doing survival horror. That, that, was, that was the quote. That was the quote. And I was just like, I, I was in shock. I think I sat staring at my phone for about 10 minutes after that because I was in such disbelief. <laughs> Frigid outskirts doesn't count as a runback because I ain't doing that shit more than once. Yeah, me neither. I, I'm definitely not working on a Dark Souls 2 run at the moment where I'm going to have to do that four times. Okay, anyway, so shall we head down here? Um, actually, uh, what is the best thing to do? Well, I, I might go kill the Moonlight Butterfly. I do really need to go do Cap Redeeming, but it's, it's going to be so awful that I kind of want to put it off for a little bit. So let's go, uh, let's go down here and see that Moonlight Butterfly. The only horror is having to run through the area again on a second playthrough. I mean, even, even the first run through was, was pretty awful, like... Uh, yeah, it was just traumatic, right? Do we? Oh my god! Oh my god! Right. Okay. Right. We're three three hits to kill these guys. That is. Um... Oh, that is not good. That is not not good. Um. Okay. Now I've really screwed myself over because I should have actually filled up the the box with throwing knives here, um, but my recklessness is uh, causing me to pain it. Because the problem is, those other guys, those other tree guys are up ahead, and I won't actually be able to activate the bonfire. So, yeah, I might have to... 
Because Moonlight Butterfly's got, what, 1300 health? So, we, we might be okay. We might be okay. I wonder if there's any way I can reset the bonfire without killing these guys. Go away. Get, get poison knives first. Yeah, good point. Good point. I could do that. Yeah, okay. I, yeah, we should we should actually I should actually be sensible, Mr. Pepe Souls. Thank you for your uh, sage advice in this moment. Okay. Yeah, I uh, we should um we should go get the poison knives. To be fair, to be fair, I actually don't need to kill Capra. I just need to run through that fucking horrible area and uh, get to the female crusty tosser and then she will uh, she'll sell that. Okay. When will you fight Ludwig the Holy Knife? <laughs> um, maybe when somebody manages to make a throwing knife mod for Bloodborne. Um, Oswald sells them too, does he? Oh, actually, yeah, sorry, you did send me, I, I do remember seeing that. Okay, so I could try and kill the gargoyles then. I'm trying to think what's gonna be worse. Well, I suppose gargoyles probably a bit more entertaining for you guys than me just running around, right? So shall I give, uh, shall I give the gargoyles a go? See if I can uh, make through. Also, side note, um, for some reason, gargoyles, it, I, I find it an incredibly difficult word to say. Like, no joke, in any of my uh, Souls videos where I've had to say gargoyles, see, even there I screwed it up. Like, I have to re-record it so many times, um, because for some reason I, I just really struggle with saying it. Um, okay, let's activate the shortcut. Love the gargoyles. Yeah, you love a good gargoyle, don't you, Press? Okay. After all, it is only human to throw a knife. <laughs> okay. There we go. Goggle, goggle. Yuck. Try to goggle before you say it. Well, I could do that. I've got some... Uh... Goggles. Oh, that actually was better. Thank you, Baron. That's a good tip. Okay. Right. I don't like, yeah, no one likes the Valiant Gargoyles, right? Everyone, everyone's like, oh, God's Genjiro, worst boss ever. Valiant Gargoyles are literally way worse in every conceivable way, apart from the fact they're not mandatory, so I guess you can skip them, but still, I find that fight way, way worse. At least God's Genjiro, like, they're vulnerable to statuses and... Oh, shit. <laughs> that, that, that actually jump-scared me a little bit there. My heart's uh, racing a tiny amount. Yeah, well, not just sleep as well, but Godskin Duo can be like, you know, poisoned or rotted or bled, whatever. But the Gargoyles literally resist everything apart from like strike damage. Um, and their combos just go on forever. They fly all over the place. They've got weird lanky bodies, which I think are like difficult to hit. All right, let's, let's see if I can go up and sneak past the other way. I mean, I, I wouldn't go as far as to say that God's Genjiro is a great boss fight. Um, I know that's what Baron's Castle would say. Baron has often said to me that God's Genjiro is literally his favorite boss in any game ever. He said his top two is God's Genjiro, then Isham right after. Right, okay, so. Come on. All right, are they get, they're just gonna be blocking the way here as well. Everybody hates the God's Genjiro. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I think I can see him, right? Ah! Okay, oh god, this is this is pretty dreadful because there's that guy in the um, in the stairway as well who I need to probably lure it down. Because I, I just, I don't know how many knives it's going to take to kill the goggles. So, like... Oh god, oh god, oh god, it's all gone wrong. Oh, okay, okay. Obviously, I completely planned that. And that was absolute skill. Okay. Go. Go. Okay, come on through the doorway. Come on through. There we go. There we go. This is this is top quality content right here, guys. Just literally running through everything. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Are those guys gonna come at me? All right, what's the betting? Am I gonna do this first try or am I gonna completely choke? Honestly, I'm leaning towards completely choke, but let's see. Speed, streaming a game while running with speed, <laughs> truly unique. 
no, I don't think there is a stake of Marika close to this boss. I think uh, the Goggles had some kind of beef with Marika. I think uh, I think she slept with one of their partners or something. I'm pretty sure that's what it is in the war. Okay. Yeah, I don't think anyone's beating it either. Even, like, normally, let alone with, uh, with throwing knives. Oh my god. Oh my god, that damage is not good. <laughs> okay, well, this is uh, a bad time already. Okay, stagger, stagger. I'm liking this little bit of stagger we're getting here. I want to heal up before uh, the other one gets involved. Okay, come on. Throwing knife. Oh, he, do he dodged the... Are you shitting me? He dodged the throwing knife. one of these guys. Oh, come on. Damn. No, not the fire, not the fire, not the fire, not the fire, not the fire. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Here we go. Oh, God. It's not going well. Oh, yeah, also the, uh, the damage decreases at distance, doesn't it? Of course it does. They're doing the fire, it's all right. It gives me a bit of time to collect myself. Oh, oh, fire, 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 fire. Okay. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's all going bad. To be fair, there was loads more I could have done to prepare for this. I could have, uh, I could have actually kindled the bonfire and got more Estus as well. So, but there we are. There we go. Come on, come on. Oh, he dodged it. Oh no! Wait, no, he didn't dodge it. He didn't dodge it. Okay. God, I can't believe even back here. I, I swear when I did this on the other, on the normal throwing knife run, they didn't dodge this much. Like, what the hell? This is, Pepe Souls, is this something you added into the game that the, bodge, the bosses dodge the throwing knives more? Okay. All right, come on, we got this. Come on. One more, one more, one more, one more. Oh, first try. Okay, okay. World's first, world's first. No one's done that before. Okay, that, uh, that's not true. I think I actually did that in the other video. But anyway, world's first for a stream. Millennia levels of input dodging. You're so good. Easy. GG. Victory on a knife's edge there. Yeah, that is... Ah. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Well, I think I can hear the sound of my victory just bellowing out throughout the walls of this building. Okay. Righty-o. Let's go and ring the bell. Do -do -do. Ah because the knives move slower. Oh, okay, interesting. I was thinking that they were slow. I, I, you know what, I, I, I couldn't remember. I didn't know if I was going crazy, but yeah, they definitely did seem slower. Yeah, they said they couldn't be beaten with 24 knives, but they were wrong, damn right, damn right. Can the knives topple the iron golem? Um, yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd say probably. You re yeah, you really rung the goggles bell. Excellent, okay. Oh, and good. We we have a nice, uh, got a nice chunk of souls there. Excellent. Okay. 
So, we should be able to buy some poison knives. That was a great shout, Mr. Pepe Souls, that, uh... <laughs> now everyone gets to see the faces you pull after the puns. It is a mod, yes, it's a mod that makes throwing knives just a little bit better. Yeah, alright, shut up, Oswald. No one cares what you have to say. Poison throwing knives. Okay, so we can carry 50 of them. That is great. Um, and that's about it. Annoyingly, though, like, every time we want to get to him, we've got to run past all of those hollows in the bit below, which is, um, yeah, not ideal, but anyway. Uh, do you know if it's possible to beat the game like this? Well, that's kind of what I'm trying to find out, my friend. If you could have any weapon from any From Soft Souls title in another Souls game, what would it be? Um, I think probably what I would do is I would get Blasphemous Blade from Elden Ring and put it into Dark Souls 2 to just annihilate every single boss and then go to the frigid outskirts and murder every single reindeer in quick succession and then I will laugh and have a beautiful steak dinner. How about that? Welcome. Will you be using Soul Dupe? Um, no, I, I don't think it's necessary here. Um, I only do that for really difficult runs, like if I'm using the Black Knight Halberd or some other crappy weapon. Okay, um, right, well, I, I could obviously try and run through all of whatever's going on over there, but uh, I think probably the sensible thing is just to use a homeward bow, yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, it's a good point, Press. I'm pretty confused that they never put the Moonlight Greatsword in any other Souls game, apart from that one. I forget which one, but it was one of them. Yeah, I'd love to see uh, patches in other Souls games as well. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure why they decided to put Solaire in all the other Souls games, but Patches only gets one game. It's weird, that isn't it? So, in it, this. Um, so it's pretty appropriate for this to be called a run because there is going to be a lot of running involved here <laughs> because uh, we need to go and get more throwing knives again. Okay, um, what's the quickest way? Ow, ow, my face, leave me alone. Okay, so I think I'll, I'll go up here and I'll go through filing as opposed to running through that whole bit with the bore and everything, probably easier. Oh yeah, good point, thank you. Don't forget to upgrade the, well I didn't actually grab the Firekeeper Soul yet because uh, obviously that's how expert a player I am, that I added an extra restriction of not using that Firekeeper Soul. Definitely didn't just forget about it, obviously. The footsteps, weirdly relaxing, yeah. I actually think my heartbeat has actually be become in tune to those footsteps, so it's kind of moving at the same time. Send Skip and get the Lord Vessel. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you for uh, the compliment to the stash. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I'm I, very bad at maintaining facial hair, to be honest. Like, I actually, because I knew I was going to appear on camera, I actually went and got a, uh, a haircut in advance of this. So much I care about you guys. Um, but, uh, yeah, a, a lot of the time I'm, I'm normally, normally too lazy and don't look this good. So maybe don't expect this every single stream. <laughs> okay. Getting wrecked by Mita? Yeah, not a good time. Oof. Okay. All right. I mean... Alright, so what I'll do, I'm going to stock up on these knives, and then should we, should we do the Moonlight Butterfly? Is anyone down with that? Um, is, it, is the Moonlight Butterfly anyone's favourite boss in this game? No. <laughs> hey, first time catching your stream. Well, that's because this is my first ever stream. I liked it better when it was still a pooper. Of course. Right, okay. Shall I actually be sensible now and uh, stock up on more knives and uh, oh, take these back to the bottomless box? Have. It's a bit of a faff, but uh, it's probably sensible. It's probably sensible. I should listen to Mr. Pepe Soul's advice. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, double pooper. First time your stream is catching me. Hopefully you don't catch something while watching this stream. I've had a few reports of that so far. Okay. Okay. There we go. Get them all in there. 
Oh, hold on. There's a deposit water box button. Expert player here, guys. I love the Moonlight Butterfly. Don't you lie, Babsa Jr. You, you absolutely loathe the Moonlight Butterfly. Butterfly is one of the first beautiful bosses that only exists for atmosphere, and that's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, the, the music's beautiful. The, mu the music's very nice. Um, I, I, I didn't like it when in Dark Souls 2 they decided to make the Moonlight Butterfly 2 and basically made Oldia a boss. Because, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the same thing. Just wait for loads of magic attacks and then use that small opening to attack and then just wait a bit longer. I love it when it floats down. JK, what's press continue like? He is a very, a very nice and handsome man. I watched his stream and got a pop-up that said, hot soul streamers in your area want to backstab you in Undead Parish now. Thank you, <laughs> Yes, exactly. I want to, uh, exactly. I want to backstab you with my knife, Baron. That's what I want to do. Backstab you right with my knife. Okay. Right. There we are. Okay, so we've got a few more knives now. So, let's run on back. This, it's the only thing but without getting the Lord Vessel. Like, it's just... Yeah, it's just quite a bit of running. I mean, it, it's amazing for a first playthrough experience of this game, for sure. But then, like, um, subsequent playthroughs, especially challenge runs like this... Um, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Um, yeah, oh my god. I'm actually gonna die. I'm actually gonna die to these hollows. <laughs> okay, alright, well, I think that's only, that's only death number two though, right? That's only death number two. I'm not, I'm not doing too horrendously. Okay. Right, alright, okay. Okay, right, we've got to get those those swords back. And then maybe didn't die, it was a glitch. Yeah, that's right. Exactly that. Exactly that. Yeah, that was a horrific gank. Okay, um, well, I guess we can we can level up a little bit more. All right, can I run through quickly this time? Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, okay. Nerve-wracking stuff, guys. Trying to run through basic enemies in the undead berg. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Looks like that guy really fell for me. Say hi to Riley. Hi, Riley. Sorry, guys, by the way, if I'm missing some messages, there are uh, quite a few coming in. <laughs> um, hi, Riley. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Leave me alone. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I, if I miss some messages, I am also trying not to look like a, uh, a terrible player in front of, like, several hundred people right now. Oh my god. Stop it. Leave me alone. Okay. Okay. Um, alright. So, probably getting the Ring of Favor and Protection would be good, wouldn't it? Um, I feel like this is going to do a terrible amount of damage. Um, okay. I'm just gonna, yeah, there we go. Wow, do you see that throwing knife? That was incredible. Like it literally came out of my foot and pushed him off the cliff. Jesus. Okay. Why, did, why didn't you put Baron Sounds as throwing knives in the game? I, I'm not even joking. We actually did discuss that. We actually did discuss that, but the level of modding required to actually do that was, uh, yeah, pretty insane. So um, anyway, uh, bit, of, bit of a shame, but you know, We've got Baron here in the chat, at least, so that's something. Yeah, I know. It's, it's crazy. That's another part of the mod, actually, that uh, basically you can, when you do the kick, uh, it shoots a throwing knife out of your foot that just pushes enemies backwards. Um, so, yeah, pretty mind-blowing stuff there. Okay, right, so we've got the Ring of Favor and Protection. Obviously, we're gonna, we can't take this off, but, you know, like, why, why would you? Probably should get these poison knives in here as well, right? Okay. Yeah, uh, oh, it was it was you who, with um, with Riley. Yes. Um, so yeah, hi to Riley. Sorry if I missed the initial message. Um, 
just yeah um but yeah greetings and salutations as uh my esteemed colleague gamers weekend would say okay Uh, apparently in DSU you can easily replace sounds. Zero then he made a mod that replaces all the sounds with lines said by him. Yeah, I did, uh, I did, did hear that as well. Um, I did, I did, I think I saw that video where he did that. I'm hoping to see the one-shot part of this run soon. What, you, you think I'm gonna be one-shotting anybody with throwing knives here? I mean, yeah, the, the mod's, uh, the mod doesn't jack the damage up that much. Okay. Oh, you, you're still fighting Mitha there, my friend? Good luck. Wait a second, this isn't big rigs over the road racing. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the uh, for the donation there, Odin on Fire. Much appreciated, much appreciated. Okay. One shot the bed of chaos. I, I think maybe I can do that. But I'm going to have to probably get Red Tearstone Ring on the go. But yeah, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Golden Blau Frame got me strength. Okay. Why is J.K. Lee's doing throwing knives again? It, it's a mod that improves the damage of throwing knives, so it might actually be possible now. The damage has improved a bit, but it's not, like, crazy. Like, it's still uh, fairly challenging. Okay, don't kill me with the jump. Don't kill me with the jump. Don't kill me with the jump. Okay, cool. All right. So, now, the, the issue still is, like, how am I going to light this bonfire? Because I... I well, actually, no, I've, I've got some... I've got some throwing knives... In, in the box now, so I could actually take the time to kill these guys. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. So, three knives to kill them. So, how many more are there? Are there, there are three more beyond here, so that's another nine knives to kill these guys, I think. Um, yes, it does also half the amount, but the knives do about three or four times the amount of damage, so um, it is definitely a worthwhile trade-off. And there's more different types of knives, and also bosses are pretty much all vulnerable to status conditions, so poison, even though poison is absolute trash in this, pretty much every boss can be poisoned, so yeah, that's something, I guess. Okay. Will you and Pepe think about modding DS3 like this? Well, um, to be honest, I know absolutely nothing about modding whatsoever, so, um, I mean, if Pepe can do it, then yeah, but... It's not really necessary because I was actually able to beat Dark Souls 3 with knives um, apart from uh, apart from those DLC bosses But now that I'm playing on PC, you know, I can maybe edit some stuff in so maybe I could do that Church Guardian Shiv run What do you think about that? Anyone interested in Church Guardian Shiv? Spoiler, it's gonna be fucking terrible. Okay uh... Okay There we go there is actually an oversight where Bed of Chaos gets up to 4 HP on NG+. Okay. Right. Okay. So. Moonlight Butterfly. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need it, but, like, let's just stock up on a few more knives just in case. Okay. Sorry, I'll, uh, I'll have a look at a few kind of chat messages now as well, just to see if I've missed anything. Uh, missed anything. Did you remember to buy butterfly knives? Oh, I should should have done. Should have done. I don't think I did. I'll have to try and just make do without. Can't wait for you to beat Slave Knight Slave Knife Gale. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm definitely gonna do that. Definitely gonna do that. Uh, does the Leo wing work with Does the Leo ring work with throwing knives? Good question. Um I I I think so. I think so. I'm not hundred percent sure. You're doing great, love. Thank you. Thank you, Babs. Much appreciated. My ever-supportive wife, who pretty much none of this crazy YouTube stuff would be possible without her and all the support she's given me. So, alrighty. <sighs> you ready You ready for the Moonlight Butterfly? Let's do this. Let's do this. Get some, get some more bosses chinned off. And then maybe, um, to be honest, after this, I, I could actually just head down to Quaylag. Like, it's not, um... You know, my damage isn't gonna... Hold on, I just realized I actually have 6,500 souls. I should probably level up. <laughs> Do you know what? I, I have, the, I have the, the position I have the mic in. I actually can't see that corner of the screen. So, like, I, I have to sort of turn my head to see how many souls are there. Uh, okay. My, ki my kids are now awake. I'll keep the stream running while I deal with this. Okay, good luck, man. Good luck. 
Okay, there we go. Level up that health. Yeah, okay, I'm going to do the Moonlight Butterfly, and then I'm going to go to Quaylag because, yeah, the damage isn't going to get any better anyway, is it? Um, so, um, and I don't... Yeah, I think the next knives that we can get are sold by the Crestfallen Merchant in um, at the top of Sen's Fortress. So, uh, might as well go and do that. But I'm here now, so let's do the Moonlight Butterfly. Hmm. Okay, let's go run on past these guys. I'm so glad I don't have kids, honestly. Uh, I, I, you know what? Before, before, um, before I had had our son, like I really was unsure about it, and you know, like he kind of, uh, you know, it's a big responsibility, and I, I can just about barely take care of myself. You know, I'm here on, I'm, you know, I'm not exactly the most mature person. I'm sat here on the internet playing video games and making terrible jokes. So I was kind of like, am I going to be able to? Be a good dad, you know, where I can barely take care of myself. But, um, yeah, you know, absolutely love it. Absolutely love it now. Wouldn't trade it for a thing. Right. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. The damage is really bad. Oh, no. Why is it so bad? Okay. Poison throwing knife. Okay. Let's heal up. Okay. Oh, God. Right. No, it's a good thing I actually have a decent amount of frost. Push. Push. The poison throwing knives do also do a bit more damage, by the way. Um, I wonder how many it's actually going to take to uh, to poison this thing. Okay, come on. Oh yeah, I've, I've just realised I've also got that situation where, like, it's really difficult to tell in Dark Souls One if you actually poison something, um, because like, uh, because all it is is just the meter dripping down very slowly um, without actually showing you any numerical values but um, I guess he should have a poison cloud All right come on we've got to get this guy oh there we go he's poisoned he's poisoned he's poisoned okay let's do that I just want to keep myself healed up So pretty nice that the knives actually don't use any stamina. And also they seem to like home in a bit as well. Um, which is pretty cool. Okay, there we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, when uh, when Babs, my wife, first did this boss, um, she absolutely hated it. And there was uh, a lot of swearing. Um, oh, missed. Missed. Okay. Okay, he's coming back down again. Is the poison worn off already? Damn, that was, uh, yeah, okay, that was, I don't, I don't that, was, that was not that much damage, I don't think. Okay, come on, but let's do it again anyway. At least the poison knives are doing somewhat decent damage. I think, I think I rarely ever got a double digit from them in the, in the base game. Okay. Okay, there we go. Good thing is, unlike Elden Ring, the uh, if you poison something once, it doesn't get a stronger immunity afterwards. So that's good. Okay, it's poisoned. It's poisoned. It's poisoned. It's poisoned. Oh, come on. Okay, he's going down. That's actually that's actually good for this moment, to be honest. Nah, can't hit it from there. Can I free aim? Can. Can free aim. All right, here we go. I feel like this knife is going to slice through just like a knife through butterfly. There we go. Done. Done. Ah. What a time to be a knife. <laughs> Great. Okay. All right, so... I'm, I'm trying to think what my my number one worry is going down to Quaylag and then basically dying and running out of knives and having to trek all the way back out to get more. So like I feel it's probably a sensible idea to stock up again. Knife guys finished first apparently. Okay, there we go. Kukri is it? Um, it's a similar throwing animation to the Kukri, but now it's just standard uh, standard throwing knives there. 
I want to hug JK so bad. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, the adepts are inspired by Birmingham on a Friday night. I'll, uh, I'll have to take your, your word for that. I'm not sure that's something I've experienced. Oh, what did you miss so far? Um, well, basically, I threw some knives. And some enemies died. And some bosses died. So, yeah, I hope that was a good recap. I, I can't get 99 of each knife. That's the problem. I can only carry... Uh, I can only I can only carry a total of um, 50 of each and 50 in the box. So, yeah, I have a uh, 100 on me. But, yeah, I definitely need to stock up. I guess, I guess to be fair, if Quayla can be poisoned, we probably should be okay. How much we got? We got 27 poison knives. We got 11 grand there. Okay. Okay. Um, and if I, st if I level up health a bit more as well, um, that's probably going to help. Because I've got some popper balls as well. I can use those to buy the knives. <sighs> I would maybe fist bump JK, but no hugging. Okay, I shall, I shall take a fist bump. I'll take a fist bump. Yep, that's true. I didn't die once. What console are you playing on? Um, I'm actually playing on PC. This is something I learned recently. I don't know if you guys know this. But you can actually play, like, com you can actually play games on a computer. Like, I've just been using a console like a fool, like a PlayStation 5, but you can actually play video games on a computer. Who knew? Okay, so let's just get full there. I need to go now. It's 1 a.m. and I need to work at 1 p.m. Ooh, okay, yeah, go get yourself some sleep. Have a good one. Killed Mitha, got my plus seven silver ring. Awesome, great work, man. I've been using my mobile phone to film the screen off an arcade machine. That actually makes a surprising amount of sense. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, uh, just need to get up to... God, getting up to Oswald is just a pain. Oh, God, I forgot about this guy. I didn't kill this guy. I didn't kill this guy. Oh, damn it. Oh. Okay might need to uh, maybe run back down. Okay, come on. Dodge. Don't dodge, apparently. Come on, come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on. Oh. Okay. Okay, we made it. We made it, we made it. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I probably really need to go through uh, the lower berg and try and get the female crusty tosser unlocked because yeah going to oswald every time is yeah not going to be a good idea okay there we go I am okay there we go it's unfortunate like uh that I, I can't buy the knives here and they automatically go into the box uh like having to drop them off back at the bonfire is um it's pretty Unfortunate, especially with where, uh, with where Oswald is. But there we go. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Next thing you know, someone's board games. Next thing you know, someone's going to talk about games on cards. Absolute madness. Or maybe card games on motorcycles. Krusty Tosser is the most UK thing I've ever heard. Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. So. Um, <clears throat> Right, let's go and get some more knives. Well, actually, I'm gonna level up first, just in case I die. There we go, okay. Get that health up. Okay, there we go. Are we balling or not? No, we're not balling, we're knifing. We're knifing. It's knifing time. Okay. Yeah, I, I particularly like the part of this run where I said it's knife and time and then I knifed everywhere. Did you, did you guys like that part? That was probably my favorite. There's this new game called Pong that looks insane. Yeah, it's crazy, man. There's like two rectangles and then there's a square and you bounce it back and forth. It's literally unbelievable. Um, I, my PC isn't actually good enough to play it, unfortunately, so I'll have to wait a while and save up before I can give it a go myself. JK, are you doing the DLC? Um, yes, I do intend to do the DLC if I get there. If I get there. But, um, yeah, we've still got uh, quite a bit to go. Mog DLC, Mog DLC, knife only when. Well, 
I'm, I'm going to try and get that out as soon as possible. I'm not even joking. My first run through of the Elden Ring DLC is going to be with my throwing knife character. 100%. Thought you could not beat Dark Souls one knives only. Well, you know that we we got some ways. We got some waves. Okay, right. So we need to just grab a few more knives from this guy up here, and then I'm gonna just head down to. Um, I'm just yeah. I'm just gonna head on down and try to uh, try to beat Quaylag. There we go. Come on. Okay. Actually, no. What, what am I doing? I'm an absolute idiot because I haven't... I've, I've got 50 knives on me. I haven't deposited them. <laughs> I haven't deposited them. You know what? Screw it. I, I'm probably going to regret this, but I'm just going to... I'm just going to go down to Quaylag. I'm just going to go down to Quaylag. I'm sure it'll be fine. Just get back. DLC stands for these lacerating consumables. Yes, absolutely correct. That is indeed what it stands for. Okay. Right. Let's go. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Now, the only other thing is... Yeah, I got... Um... Yeah, I got nothing to cure poison, which is uh, not ideal. But I suppose I could kill the blow dart guy on the way down. Um, so that might be okay, maybe. into this lovely, lovely area here. Um, new, yeah, new new Londo. You know, I quite like new Londo. I always find it a lot more contemporary than old Londo, you know? Old Londo's a bit too vintage for my taste. If you don't have an item to cure poison, don't get poisoned. That is literally the most valuable advice I've ever heard. Oh, what a blight. To the poison town we're gonna go right now. These guys with clubs want to give me a plow. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, what a blight. All right, that's quite enough of that. Okay, let's go, let's go. Just dodge the poison, idiot. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Maybe you know when Bloodborne is coming to PC. Yeah, Bloodborne is coming to PC when um, Lemon releases the one-shot contest video. It'll be right around that time. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. This guy doesn't respawn, right? Come on. <laughs> okay, I got the one purple moss bump, so at least I can, I can rush down there this time. Yeah, God Gamer. That God, like... How many, how many people are watching? There's like 250 people watching me die to some basic enemies on the way down to Blight Town. Incredible. Incredible. Why does it play wind blowing sound when you're poisoned? Um, I guess that, is that maybe the sound of the poison like circulating through your veins? Maybe? That's kind of always what I interpreted it as, but um, yeah, who knows? Maybe it's just because po being poisoned totally blows. Maybe it's that. Okay. Down the lift. Right. Maybe it makes you piss yourself. To be fair, I did get food poisoning once and I did piss myself amongst other things. So yeah, that's uh, that's a good shout. Good shout. I love it when wind blows poison through my veins. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, not ideal, not ideal. If you get bitten by like a poisonous snake in real life, then that's the sound that you'll hear, just wind blowing. And like, there'll be a purple cloud that kind of just surrounds your body, like a very light purple cloud. Yeah, Blight Town wasn't very nice to me, to be honest. It was, uh, yeah, it was not a knife experience, that's for sure. Right, let's go. Did any, anyone ever play um, the PS3 version of uh, Dark Souls 3, 
where Blight Town would like grind to a halt whenever you came down here. That was fun. Last time I had food poisoning, so much food left my body, I didn't piss myself. I didn't even know that was an option. Go away. Go away. Alright, let's go. Okay. Come on. Alright, there we go. Alright, so I've got one purple moss clump, which means that um, I've got one chance to get to Quaylag unpoisoned and then try and beat her, which is, uh, yeah, no pressure, no pressure. Okay. Come on. Right. Technically not, not lag, rather, yeah, but, you know, same thing. Fe feels like lag, feels like lag. In my country, Blight Town is just town. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure I wanna know where you live. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I would like to get some headshots in on Quaylag. That would be uh, that would be pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Um, all right. So I guess yeah. Pray that I don't die and have to trek all the way back out to buy more throwing knives because that's uh, yeah that's not gonna be not gonna be good. Wait, why wear no armor if you're just using throwing knives? It would help with both defense and poison. Um, because I like to live life on the edge of a knife. Okay, right, so. JK leaves room tour, let's go. Nah, it's, uh, it's, it's it's not that exciting. It's not that exciting. It's just our office room. It's just like, it's like a couple desks and stuff. Um, nothing nothing really to see. The faces are killing me. <laughs> yeah, imagine wearing armor while playing Dark Souls. He likes to look pretty sharp, that's true. I'm a sharp dressed man after all. Okay, yeah, look at that. Look how fucking quickly I got poisoned there. Okay. Throwing knives at a spider seems like a reasonable decision. Yep, absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. Okay, come on. Let's go. Leave me alone. Kindle the bonfire for Estus? Well, I've got... I've got ten flasks anyway, and I kind of need to do this first try, so... Um, this is another thing, actually, I noticed. So, like, obviously you can wear um, more armor for poison defense and stuff. But am I wrong in saying that if you have more poison resistance, then when you do get poisoned, it takes longer for the poison to wear off? Because the bar seems bigger. Um, I've never actually tested if it, like, decreases at a similar rate or something. But, uh, no, didn't do pinwheel. Didn't do pinwheel. Um, so, yeah. No. Him and stun locker with knives. Um, honestly, I just want to, I just want to try and actually beat her. To be honest, if I manage to actually just beat her, that would be amazing. Okay. Is resist is resist actually useful? Um, I mean, with that stat, the only the reason it's called resistance is you because you need to resist actually leveling it up because yeah, it does nothing as well. Go. Oh, better skip that, otherwise I'm going to get demonetized. Right, so okay. Oh, okay. And that's with the that's with the poison knife as well. That's with the poison knife. That's actually like pretty decent. Yeah, that's actually pretty decent. Okay, come here. Come on. Yeah, okay, okay, wow, that's... Why, I, I maybe it's because of distance, but yeah, that's actually like... I'm not sure why, that's way better damage than the Moonlight Butterfly. I, I, normally, like, with any other build, um, Quay like takes uh, less damage, but yeah, I, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Is gonna get poisoned? Oh no, jump again! Ah! Okay. 
run. Run away. Only fans way. Um, never. How about that? Never. <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. How about poison when? Sometime soon, maybe? I, can't, I literally can't believe how much damage these poison knives are doing here. Like, this is... this is. I think this is more damage than I did on my very first playthrough uh, of this game when I got to play lag. Seriously, that is, uh, that is some good damage. Okay, come on. But is she actually going to get poisoned? Doesn't seem that way. So how much are these doing? Okay. Come on. Okay. Just gonna do the long spray. That was actually really lucky that lava pool disappeared right there. Right, I don't think I'm going to bother with the poison knives, guys. She didn't get poisoned after all that, so... Maybe... I, I, I guess probably her poison resistance is really high. Uh, maybe Pepe Souls can weigh in on that if he hasn't already. Uh, well, you say it's just toxic, but... Shit, all the bosses have had their resistances changed in this mod, so... A lot of them uh, will be weak to basically everything. Well, not weak, but they should at least be able to be poisoned or bled or whatever. Come on. Get back. Was that first try hitless? Was that first try hitless? I think it was. First try hitless. If you did own OnlyFans, it would blow us away. And you want to tell me playing throwing knives only is a challenge? <laughs> Well, I, I, I'm pretty surprised by that, to be honest. I did not expect to get through that uh, hit list, but um, yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, let's do this. So I started to grind rings for Dark Souls 3 Platinum when I realized that the search for Platinum ruins the game for me. Yeah, I, uh, I never actually got Platinum in Dark Souls 3 because of that exact reason. I just couldn't bring myself to do the grind. JK Leeds is our hetero icon, but we'll always know he's gay at heart, as in happy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Whew. That was a, certainly a tangled web of that fight, wasn't it? Okay. This guy's gonna... I think... I think this guy's kind of toying with me a bit, you know? I feel like he's really pulling my chain. Madam Web, oh my god, that that uh, that film's getting absolutely ripped apart. What's it that used to be immune to poison have three 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 poison resist? Eleven knives to inflict. Okay, I, I just I wasn't persistent enough. Uh okay. Okay, there we go. Right. Um So I've got twenty grand. I've got twenty grand now. And I'm sort of like, should I actually go and should I, should I actually go and buy the crest of Artorius now and then go get the stone armor? Because there's pretty much no way I I I not no way, but I think it for for if there's one boss I'll need it for. It's definitely Capra. But uh, right, how do you answer? Uh, yes, yes. Constant assault of puns. Okay. There we go. JK, what do you think about Glasgow Oompa Loompa Go? I, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I, I literally have no idea what that means. Time to knife throw Iron Golem off the bridge. Yeah, I, I actually do want to go and fight Iron Golem, you know? I really do. I'm interested to see when all knife jokes have been made. Okay. Let's go.
Right. So, yeah. Uh, so, let, yeah, let's go get... Because also the other thing is the Crestfallen Merchant has the bleed knives, I believe. So, yeah, probably worth going up to Sen's Fortress. But um, the Crestfallen Merchant's quite a way up. We'll have to ascend to the top to get to him. But first, I need to make it out of Blight Town without choking, which, um, you know, given what's happened already on this run, I'd say choking is probably quite likely. JK, is this run mathematically doable? Um, maybe. That's about as mathematical an answer as I can give you right now. Um, I'm going to do my best. Crest of Arturus also unlocks the Forest Guardians for souls. Um, yeah, but, like, what am I really going to do with souls? Yeah, I could... I could I, I can't buy more than a hundred knives at a time um, or any of them so yeah it's not soul farming isn't especially useful here and that's I wanted to like jack my health up to some ridiculous levels uh, no I haven't beaten the stray demon um, I'm still trying to work myself up to that <laughs> um, I'm gonna go get the bleed knives first silent knives holy knives uh, no I don't, I'm not sure those are in their press but um, maybe something we can add to the mod in the future. Uh, yeah, next knife available is the bleed knife. So that's what we're going to go for. Use a titanite slab on your knives for more damage. Okay. There we go. Oh, I... I really thought I had actually just fallen off the edge there. Um, yeah, which would have been a, a choke. Yeah, this is... Uh, so this is it. You guys actually get to see how terrible I am at these games now with, uh, with all this. Although, okay, I did I did, I did, did hit this quail egg, so that's that's something. That's something. I'll, I'll take that as a, a bit of pride. Right. Up here. Oh, oh wait, actually, I can... We actually had a few souls, didn't we? We did have... Yeah. A couple grand couple grand we take that we take a cheeky couple grand don't we right let's get to the real questions your drink of choice um so you're probably you're probably going to be like oh my god you're so british um but uh i'm a gin drinker so like my ideal drink is like a orange or lemon flavored gin uh with so i do soda water though i don't do tonic i do soda water um and then some ice and yeah that will do me very refreshing Yep, there you go. Oh my god, you are so British. <laughs> that's, that's what my wife says. My wife, uh, Babs, is Italian, in case any of you guys didn't know. Um, and she's always like, oh my god, you're so British. Um, which uh, is pretty funny. Any suggestions on uh, hidden gems to go and see in the UK? Um, I mean, I hope you're not coming from a country that has warm weather because uh, you're going to be in for a pretty brutal shock when you get here. Banana Yazoo kind of guy. Hey, Banana Yazoo's good. Banana Yazoo's good. I, would, uh, I wouldn't say no to a Banana Yazoo. Maybe mix some gin in that as well, just for an extra bit of flavor. Yazoo up the wazoo, as they say. Okay. JK, I was in the kitchen the other day and remembered uh, you when I opened the drawer and there was a knife there. Later I saw a spider and threw a knife on her and thought, that's what JK would do. Exactly. That's exactly right. <laughs> Bourbon and black coffee. Bourbon and black coffee is in together. So, do you, okay, all right. So to undo all of the, oh my God, you're so British, I don't like any hot drinks, right? Don't like tea, don't like coffee, and like any any hot drinks of any kind um apart the only hot drinks i will drink is like you know you know i was ill kind of recently um and my throat was pretty sore i was drinking a lot of like uh hot water with uh, honey and lemon but outside of that i don't drink any hot drinks at all okay lem sip lem sip gang yeah lem, lem sip's a bit medicinal though this is just uh this is this was literally just hot water with lemon and honey it's great Ah, no, not even hot chocolate. All right, and, and here's, here's another weird thing. Here's, I, I, I don't really like sweet stuff very much. I'm not really into sweet things because I'm sweet enough, baby. But um, yeah, so I, I wouldn't really go for a, a hot chocolate or something like that. 
I'm going to write to my local MP to have you kicked out of the country for saying that. I, I, Baron, I, I have a, I have this image in my head that you're a guy who likes a, um, who likes a good cup of tea, like in, in an enormous sized mug, like you know, one that's like maybe pint glass sized. That's that's the image I have of you in my head. Just trace it to the crap. Yeah, one, yeah, one of those sport di sports direct mugs. Yeah, exactly that, exactly that. Huge, huge, like li literally uh, one about as high as your computer monitor. Okay, okay, actually a coffee guy. Fair, fair. Did your wife let you try Amaro Montenegro? Um, I'm not sure if I've tried that exact one, but I have tried. Uh, I've tried some pretty banging Italian liqueurs, actually. Um, yeah, it, Italy's got some good stuff. I would rather play Dark Souls 1 eight times in a row than ever play Dark Souls 2 again. Wow. Wow. I drink milk out of a wooden shoe for breakfast. Um, can you say... Do you mean Worcestershire sauce? Um, yeah, that's... Uh, here we call it English sauce. Amaro Lucano, thank you, Babs. Yes, Amaro Lucano. It was absolutely delicious. Okay. Um, right, so... Uh, so, bleed knives are up at the top. Um, do I try and just leg it up with, with the amount of knives on me? Um, yes. Yeah, we only live once, right? Can you say, get good? Get good. I don't actually even know what that means. What does that mean? Now, I'm not going to Stray Demon until I get the Bleed Knives. Then I will. Ooh. Wow, there's actually a button in Sen's Fortress which fires out throwing knives. Did you guys know that? I've, ne I've literally never... Uh, I mean, I am literally the first person to play this game, so of course, how could you have seen that? How could you? Okay, swinging blades, swinging blades, swinging blades. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, come on, let's get past this guy. Oh, look at, look at that, look at that. Come on, get knocked off, get, oh god, oh god, oh god, it's gone wrong, it's gone wrong, it's gone wrong. Is he still, oh my god, he's still chasing after me. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh, crap, I just realized I had 22,000 souls. I didn't spend it. What are your top 10 favorite knives? <laughs> okay, all right. Well, obviously I died on purpose there because uh, I wanted to make it more challenging. Um, obviously that's what uh, what's happened. Um, wow, okay. So, um, uh, so yeah, what are the odds that I die on the way back to getting these knives? I'd, I'd say the chances are pretty significant, to be honest. Oh, if only that... If only the snake guy had gotten knocked off by the swinging blade. It would really help me out there. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Oh, okay. Is that guy Oh my god, this guy still just won't leave me alone. Oh no. <laughs> This is this is going to be literally the the next the last bit of the stream. I'm literally just going to be dying repeatedly here. I never die in Sen's Fortress, fortunately. Well, I'm I'm happy for you, Press. Truly happy for you. Um. Okay. I the the worst thing is I actually don't have. Oh no, I've got one homeward bone. I do have one homeward bone. Okay, so I can I can get them and hopefully just warp out as quick as possible. Be really good if that guy decided to do me a solid and just get knocked off by the swinging blades. Now you just yeah, it, it was the controls fault actually. Um, it was because I'm playing on PC and there's a lag between the buttons and and stuff. Yeah, it's definitely that. Definitely that. There's a huge quay lag between me pressing the button. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay. Okay, please, please, can you just get knocked off of it? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, oh, same thing's going to happen again, isn't it? Okay. Right. 
Well, I suppose this might not be a bad time to test, like, what the damage is going to be. Oh. Wow. Well, it's safe to say our damage has really dropped off here. Okay. Well, yeah, not great. Not great. I think Golem's going to get to... Oh, God. God. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, yeah, the damage... The, the Iron Golem damage is going to be bad. No, I wanted to, I wanted to go down here because I wanted to... Uh, no, what am I doing? I don't want to modify any equipment, Andre. Just give me the goddamn Crest of Artorias. There we go. Okay. Right, yeah, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to get that, um, and then, yeah, I want to, I want to just unlock everything in Sens so I can get the bleed knives easily. Okay, um, right, so, alright, well, that's my last knives, but, I mean, obviously, if worse comes to worst, uh, I can, I could obviously do the thing of leaving the knives outside the door, but that's pretty painful as well. Um, so, Pepe Souls, if you're still there, man. Um, so, am I, so the Iron Golem, can he be poisoned and bled? Is that actually right? Can, can the, can the Iron Golem be poisoned and bled? Yep. Okay, great. Wow. That is, uh, that is life-changing news. Okay, and so it's the same as what you said, so 11 knives. Um, yeah, I love poisoning a piece of metal. Exactly. Now these are, um, yeah, these, these knives actually have, uh, like, salt water on them, so it's gonna rust the iron golem. That's, that's what's happening, obviously. Okay. Okay. You know, if a, um, if a young adult ran into one of, if a young adult ran into one of these swinging blades, would they be a Gila teenager? Okay. Ow. My face. Knife changing news. Okay. Right. Okay. This guy's gonna get hit by the boulder. Right. Okay, so I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not I'm I'm not I'm just gonna make a beeline. I'm not gonna mess around here. We're just gonna I could get the ring of steel protection, but nah. We're just going to make a beeline, we're going to do the Iron Golem, we're going to do it for the content. Even, even though I did spend an absolutely horrendous amount of time already fighting the Iron Golem in that, uh, that other run I did a few months ago, um, for the melee one-shot. Come on, where's the board? Where's the board? I'm not going to make it, I'm definitely not going to make it. I'm definitely, 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 definitely not going to make it. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Okay. Did you know if you line up all of the teenagers' internal organs between the Earth and the Moon, they would die? Um, okay, wow, that's pretty... That's pretty dark. Oh, uh, thank you, Drew Skidmore, for the uh, encouragement there. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, uh, that, that was, that was, that was my own fault, to be honest. Like, I went, I went too early. I knew, I knew I wasn't going to actually make it there. I should have, like, dropped off the side or something, but anyway. All right, we'll do, we'll get this done. We'll get this done. I promise you the rest of the stream isn't just going to be me dying in Sen's Fortress here. Okay. Although that would be pretty sensual. No, just kidding, just kidding. This will actually be essential viewing okay all right all right that's enough now that's enough send jokes for the time being right scream there we go okay wow why do those knives do so much more damage than mine that doesn't seem fair ah leave me alone Okay. 
Yes. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's actually turned the other way. Okay, never mind. Go away. try and take this guy out. No, I don't want to waste the knives, that's the thing. I do not want to waste the knives. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay, let's go. Let me pass, let me pass, let me pass. Come on, what is this? All right. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh. Okay, I just need to avoid being hit by giant lemon at the top here. It's got his giant firebombs in it. Yeah, come on. God, uh, guys, I just, I literally cannot believe that I made it up to the top of Sensible for the first try without dying. Like, that is absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Okay. We'll be streaming only on, uh, probably uh, only on YouTube, um, just because, like, just keep it simple, keep everything in one place. Okay. Right, there we go. Okay, so, um, now the one thing I hadn't factored into my plans was also this giant at the top, because obviously I, I could leave him alive, but it does then mean that I have to fight the Iron Golem in that tiny little bit at the back of the arena, which uh, wouldn't be ideal. Okay, well, I'm definitely gonna first try this jump. I, I thought I thought I was actually going to make it there, and it would be a cool little moment. But no, why did I even pick that up? Oh. Come on. Ah, yes, the jump for the crossbow—that beautiful, amazing crossbow, which, uh, uh, with with its incredible damage and ability to aim and shoot enemies. Uh, do you have? Divine throwing knives for them. No, press. We have, we do not have divine throwing knives for them, as far as I know. So, yeah. <laughs> this, this, this is like this is my first stream, and I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to do some cool stuff here and give you guys some good content, and it's just me like falling off sends, failing to make jumps. Um, for about 30 minutes, so yeah, um, my bad. <laughs> nice job. Thanks. Thanks. Make, yeah, make, make sure to uh, put in the chat there how incredible that jump was. Okay. Here we go. Right. Okay. The worst thing that can happen is everyone judging you. Exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Um, do you want to place a bet? How many more times am I going to have to attempt this jump before I actually make it? I'm, I'm going to guess like maybe, maybe three more. Yep, that's it. That, that's what I, I basically knew this was. This was just me putting myself out here to be savagely judged. Uh, by how actually terrible I am at uh, playing these games. Honestly, just jump is not that hard. I'm sure if one of you guys wanted to attempt this, you'd definitely jump at the chance, right? You need me to move the Chris Fallen Merchant? No, God damn it! I'm going to make this jump. I'm going to make this jump. It's my favorite Mario 64 level. Yeah, I can't wait to fight Giant Thwomp at the top. Okay. Okay. Oh no! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me. Do 
GG. Okay, that, that was legit the hardest part of the run. Excellent. Yep, first try. Absolutely first try. Crushed it. Absolutely crushed it right out the gate. With yours. Okay, right. So, yeah, look at that. Kukiri. Multi projectile infused with bleed. Awesome. Well, we're buying those. Okay. At, at some point, what I should do as well is I should learn how to do save states on PC because I have absolutely no idea how to do that, and that would probably save my life a bit. Okay. Go along. All right. Ah, uh, welcome to the Naifu Faithful, Jordan of the Abyss Walker. Welcome, welcome. Have uh, have fun using those nice uh, chuck the throwing knife emojis. So what you do is save the state. Oh my god, is that what I've been doing wrong? Jesus, man. Jesus. Alright, so I suppose I should kindle the bonfire. I actually don't even... Do I have... Oh, I do have humanity. Awesome. Okay. Great stuff. Alright, well at the very least, with the Iron Golem, we've got the Crestfallen Merchant there to buy knives from. Um, so, yeah. That's good. Right. So, reverse hauling. Did, did anybody the first time they played this game have absolutely no idea what the hell humanity was or what it did? Because I literally was absolutely lost. So what you actually do is right click the game's icon on Steam and hover over manage and click uninstall. <laughs> okay. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. I think is this, the, this is the first time he's been human. Just look at this absolute unit, this absolute visage of humanity. Yeah, look at that. Okay, alright. Put the Kleenex away, guys. We've got to get on with the run. Ah, P P P Muck 79 welcome to Naifu Faithful. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, that chin. And the nose is sharp as a knife as well. Um, do you know, um, this guy actually, uh, this guy actually went to the beach and there were loads of people shouting shark, shark, but it was actually just him in the sea doing the backstroke. He was sticking up. Should probably equip these uh, bleed moves, shouldn't I? That would probably be a good idea. Oh my god, you've got face, bro. I always thought you were just a voice. No, I actually have both a face and a body, and I also own a computer and a games console. So, yeah, I'm. Doing pretty okay with life. JK setting unrealistic beauty standards for mental health. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, all right, well... What do you guys think? Should I, should I kill this giant up top? Or should I try and try and do the iron golem fight with just the... Uh, yeah, don't. Okay. Uh, leave him. Okay, okay, all right, we're leaving him. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. If uh, I'll tell you, maybe, uh, maybe I should set a stream goal or something. And uh, if we hit that, then um, I'll stand up and show you guys my body. If we, if we make two hundred million dollars from donations, then I'll stand up and show my body. Is that fair? Is that reasonable? Um. Pepe Souls, what is that damage? What is that damage? Oh my god, but wait, look at the bleed. Did that just do bleed? Oh, wow, okay, 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 I'm sorry. I, I spoke too soon, I take it back. Okay. I mean, th that damage is pretty bad, pretty bad. And fighting him on here is uh, not the best. Okay, but poison, yep, yeah, okay, okay. I'm, I'm so gonna fall off. I'm so gonna choke and fall off here. You can feel it. Okay, all right, so I think it's gonna be a solid reliance on poison and bleed here because, yeah, that's, um, yeah, that, that, yeah that's, that's, that's not good. That's not good, but we got bleed. We got bleed, we got our arrow-shaped throwing knives, which uh, hopefully should, um, should get the job done just about. I don't think we're... I don't want, well, we're not staggering him because I'm, I'm aiming at his torso, actually. Oh! See, the grab actually could have got me from all the way over here, given my past experience with it. 
Come on. Good. Yeah, I, I, why does it count one when you throw three? Yeah, I, I guess it's like the the fan daggers from Elden Ring. It's that similar kind of vibe. There we go. Oh, Lead. There we go. No, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. I do that so much, you know. I'm trying to run and dodge, and then I I jump, which uh, screws me over more often than not. Poison's worn off. Better to get poisoned again. Okay, he gets poisoned actually fairly quickly, surprisingly, given that he should probably be the boss that uh, doesn't get poisoned at all. <laughs> uh, I'm not complaining because this would be just probably impossible damage. Like that. It's, uh, Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's true, Chris. You can actually change it. Oh my god. <laughs> Lost minute choke. Lost minute choke. To the iron golem. Damn. Damn. Okay. Oh wow, gifted five memberships. Thank you so much, PMUX. That's very generous of you. Okay. You're meant to throw the daggers, not the fight. <laughs> Got lemon squash. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let's try again. Let's try again. Yeah. At the, at the last moment as well, he was literally about to die. Very unfortunate. Might need to go and uh, quickly buy some more cookery, which you know what that means. Oh, my. Why, why why am I like just absolutely incapable of that? Why am I not capable of making that jump? I, thank you. I mean I, I feel like I don't I don't deserve uh, all these like the, the donations and memberships being gifted here when I'm literally like choking at the most basic things, but it is most certainly appreciated. It is most certainly appreciated. Oh. Yeah, thank you again for just stopping in to, to watch this uh, watch this just disaster. This is this like the thing is I'm not. I, I'd like to say that oh you know it's just because I'm streaming and I'm like nervous or something, so I'm making silly mistakes. But oh my god, I so nearly flew off the edge there. Um, but genu genuinely, like when it, when I play these games, I do tend to just make a lot of silly mistakes generally. So this is. You guys are at least getting a pretty, represent, pretty good representation of what it's like seeing me play this game. Oh, you sent me the save state stuff. Nice one, thanks, mate. I'll uh, I'll have a look at that. I'll have a look at that at some point. Okay, so the moonlight butterfly, which gives a whopping twelve hundred souls. Fantastic. Mm, what is it? There we go. Go along. Okay. Try and make something of yourself. All right. All right. <clears throat> Remember the first law of streaming. The worse things are for the streamer, the better things will be for the audience. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay. Can I make the jump back? No. Of, of, of course I of course I can't. Do you expect anything different? Ah, welcome to the Naifu Faithful. Welcome. Enjoy, uh, yeah, any, any of you guys that have just joined the whole member situation, make sure to enjoy the uh, Chuck the Throwing Knife emojis. Get a few of them there in the chat. Um, they're uh, something I'm very happy with. Um, yeah, this guy, Optical Battle Fuse, the same guy who did uh, Lemons emojis. Um, I commissioned him to make them, and they're, uh, yeah, there they are. Beautiful, beautiful. We, uh, we love to see it. We love Chuck. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. You, you want to come and say hi to everybody? <laughs> okay. Uh, my lovely wife just uh, coming to often get me some water. I tried to get her to come in, but she wasn't uh, wasn't down for it. Oh my God. 
Well, I'm gonna try and get to one scene and smell after this, promise you. Oh my god, is this guy throwing like a million firebombs? What is going on here? Right. Sorry, quick trick back to the bonfire. Certified perhaps. Yeah, the, the, th the throwing knife emotes, um, yeah, uh, it's called, he's called Chuck, Chuck the Throwing Knife, made by the artist Optical Battle. Okay. Thank you. Sure you don't want to come say hi? <laughs> Maybe get your wife to, you know what, she'd probably do a better job at this than I'm doing right now. Go now, my girlfriend's having a birthday party. Oh, have a good one, mate. Enjoy. Enjoy. He doesn't understand the rules of the... Yeah, he doesn't understand. He doesn't understand. It's just a massive fail on his part. All right. Well, uh, I've committed now to not killing the... Um, not killing the giant at the top, so... Yeah, let's just... Uh, let's just do it. After that, I'll uh, unlock this elevator and all that other good stuff. Um, but yeah, probably I'll probably stream for like another hour if you guys want to hang around. I don't know. Are you are you are you enjoying this? Hope so. Yeah, shame Patreon doesn't link to YouTube memberships. Yeah, it, it is a shame, to be honest. It is a shame. Excuse me. Can you? Can you move out the goddamn way? What is this? Look how much space I got had there. What an asshole. Right, okay. Good background noise for WoW. Are oh, you playing a bit of uh, World of Warcraft? Nice one. All right. So. So we pretty much established that the normal knives are, like, not even working. So minimal damage. So I think what we do is we just poison and then we go for the bleed knives. But I just need to be careful because before I, I moved too far back and I got hit by the uh, I got hit by the firebombs from that guy. Ow. Oh, that doesn't actually even do that much damage. Is he actually just gonna I, th I thought for a moment he was just gonna stand there doing that over and over. To be fair, I beat I beat this guy on New Game Plus Plus with great bows, so if I can do that, I figure I can pull him. Not where I want to be, not where I want to be, don't want to get caught by the crab. Yeah. He was literally doing the crab as well. Poison doesn't seem to last for that long, but the damage from it seems okay at least. So that's something. Remember. In this fight, any golem's a golem. Oh, no, he is poisoned. I don't need to do another one of those. We just need to bleed him out. Okay, 24 damage is yeah, bad, but like that bleed. There we go. Lead there, we like that, we like that. Could you start streaming during my work hours so I can distract myself from the crushing pressure of capital? Um, maybe? What, what, are you, what are your work hours? Oh no, 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 oh no. damage makes the poison leave its body faster. I mean, maybe? Uh, that sounds like it makes sense, but who knows. He likes to just stand there, even though he wasn't anywhere close to me. And uh, just swinging like mad. There we 
go. Okay, you know what, um, you know what instrument this guy likes to play in his spare time? The axophone. First try, first try. Don't choke again. Yeah, I didn't. I managed to not choke this time. I managed to not choke at the last minute. Yep, first try. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ah. All right. Um, so, we got a whole bunch of souls now. I should probably go stock up on a few more knives than that. Oh, look at that. Na nailed the jump there, guys. Absolutely nailed it. That was literally phenomenal. Is it jump time again? <laughs> Just be jump time again. Oh, God. Um, oh, well, shall I just slam, like, loads of points into vitality? There, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that health bar. That is absolutely disgusting. Okay. Uh, right. Um, so, yeah, it's jump time. I also need to go below the Crestfallen Merchant and get the cage key so I can sort of travel down because I need to stock up on the other types of knives as well. Yeah, I probably should grab the soul item. Yeah, that's sensible. I love the part where he starts sprinting. Oh, fucking hit stuff. Okay. Um... I might have to go up there and kill him at some point, but now is not the time. Now is not the time because now it's jump choke number 3487 of this stream. Here we go. Oh, no, no, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay. I, I. Uh... That was one of literally the most impressive things I think I've ever done playing these games whatsoever, guys. You know, so. I, I will take all the all the praise, all the you know donations, everything like that for that just exceptional piece of gameplay there. Yeah, world's first, world's first, actual world's first. You know, people are banging on about meaty Jesus, like one shotting the four kings, but come on, it doesn't top that. It does not top that, and you know it, you know it. Okay. Okay. Ow. And boom. Okay, that damage is a little bit better. I, I just love the uh, ragdoll bodies in this. It's so good. Man's got jumps. Oh, thank you so much, man. Thank you. That is tremendously appreciated. Lands a great jump, gets hit by a basic projectile. Yeah, but the jump was so incredible that uh, it undoes the fact that I was hit by a basic projectile. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. Oh. Okay, right, so, with that all sorted, so, I definitely did pick up the cage key, right? Just have it, yeah, okay, cool. I just I just had a mind blank for a moment after that whole thing at the beginning of not picking up the big pilgrim's key. Right, can I make the jump back across? It's a good thing I'm not going to be putting this in a... In a video somewhere, because oh my god, it would just be many, many clips of atrocity. Okay. Yeah, this could be the entire video, basically. Yeah, it's basically uh, can JK make one jump in Sen's Fortress? Answer no. And then 50 clips of me failing the jump. That's it. Yeah, should have leveled up resistance. Live footage of JK Soul making this. Oh, that's why it's called Dark Souls, isn't it? My soul feels very darkened by all those jump fails. Okay. Jumping is easy, just throw yourself like a knife. Ah. Oh, man, sometimes you guys just hit me with wisdom that I never would have thought of in a million years. There we go. Right, let's get back down. Okay, what's the thing? I'm going to choke at the bottom here and get hit by the guillotines or hit by the snake man. One of the two. I can feel it. 
Oh, wait, wait. He's, he's not there? No, no, no. Okay, well, we, I'm not complaining, but... Okay. All right, then. All right, then. Okay, well, I think probably the plan is we go stock up on a bunch of knives and then... Um, well, what to do? What to do? Should I... Should I do the Capra Demon so I can get easier access to... Or I don't even need to do the Capra Demon, to be honest. I could... I could. But if I'm going that way, I should do the Capra Demon, shouldn't I? Shouldn't I? Alright, but I'm, go I'm going to get the stone armor for it. I'm not doing that without the stone armor. Upload some YouTube shorts of you failing to make the jump. Um, yeah, I mean, I probably probably could do that. Might get a few views here and there. I hope Baron sits behind you doing the sound effects. Now, nah, Baron, uh, ba Baron doesn't want to do the sound effects again after I kidnapped and tied him up last time. He was, uh, he wasn't too pleased with that. Okay, right. So we've got the crest of Andre from Artoria, So now we can go and open this door. So I'm going to do that. Grab the stone armor. Um, then I'm going to head back do Capra Demon, hopefully, um, so I can get easier access to poison knives than having to run through that crap with Oswald. Um, and then, uh, then head to Anor Londo, and if there's time, maybe do Smo and Ornstein as well. Yeah, I know, sorry. Uh, the truth is, Baron actually uh, messaged me and said, look, can you come tie me up and kidnap me? Um, I've been waiting to meet another Souls YouTuber that lives in the UK so I can feel that, fulfill this fantasy. Um, but I kind of roped him into doing the throwing knife sound. So yeah, a bit of a... Spoiled his day a little bit. Didn't quite tickle his pickle. Yeah, the stone arm is actually made of stone knives. That's, uh, that's law. That's law. Okay, there we go. Go, 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 okay. Yeah, I mean, do you know why the stone armor here is like surrounded by all these leaves and herbs? It's because you've got to be totally stoned to actually wear it. That's why. Okay. All right, there's no more of these guys chasing me, thankfully. So, let's go, let's go. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Leave me alone. That guy had a giant throwing knife there. You can buy the stone armor legally in special shops in my country. <laughs> yeah, I, I, think, I, think I, actually have, um, I think I actually have tried the stone armor in your country once, Press. But I think the stone armor was actually, like, ground up and put into, like, a chocolate brownie. Uh, no, it is a... Uh, it is a mod uh, made by a chap called Pepe Souls, who's here in the chat, um, where the throwing knives are slightly improved, um, so it is actually possible to hopefully beat the game. Hopefully. I have tried many stone armors in your fine country press. <laughs> Excellent. The local stone armor dispensary. <laughs> okay. All right, so we got the stone armor now. Um, I, I'm not fighting this guy, by the way, because I, I presume, I, I, I don't think, uh, I, as far as I understand, it's just bosses that have had the resistances changed, not enemies. So this guy would still be, uh, yeah, a bit of a nightmare. Plus, I don't actually need to kill him because we don't need de demon tie snipe for anything. Okay. They're so OP now, you can even beat the game with them. Just got to try my stone armor out the window. Don't want to set off the armor alarm. <laughs> the alarmer, I think you mean, Baron. The alarmer. The stone alarmer. Okay. Yeah, exactly. You don't need any demon titanite. Yeah, exactly. We don't need any large titanites or titanite chunks or any titanite slabs even. We just, uh, we're just good to go as we are. Okay. Alright, so... God, we've got to... 
Gotta go through the lower bug. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, Lowerberg is uh, not a fun little area. So, a quick sip of water. Uh, doesn't even attempting this stump again make you evil knife evil? Excellent. Yeah, it's not water, it's actually liquidized knives. I'm literally just. Uh, getting the knives straight into my bloodstream for this run. You're from Manchester? Uh, no. Remember to keep your knives hydrated. Okay, there we go. There we go. Come on. Oh, okay. oh. So, I'll be streaming for like, yeah, probably another 45 minutes or, or so. Um, because uh, then I've got to go to bed because um, my son doesn't know that I'm streaming um, at his age and in fact will just uh, still wake up at 5.30 in the morning. But um, it's probably unlikely that I'm going to finish this run here, but you know, would you guys be interested in seeing me stream more of this? Because if so, then I shall happily do that. Pretty sure JK stands for Joe Knife. Actually, it stands for Justice Knife. And that's what we're trying to do in this run. We're trying to ring justice for the knives. Okay. Just stream until 5.30 in the morning. Um, yeah, may maybe about 10 years ago I would have done that. But um, yeah. No, I'm a, I'm a bit of an old man now. Okay, am I going to die here? Am I going to die? Good. No, okay, wow, look at the tiny amount of damage that did. Literally fire being breathed down on me from above, and I'm totally naked. And, uh, yeah, tiny bit of damage. So you can't stream for another seven hours? Uh, no, unfortunately not, my friend. Unfortunately not. If only. If only I was just able to survive without needing any sleep. But, um, yeah, sleep is pretty important. Okay, let's go and open this door. There we go. Okay, so what would you do, right? If you were given an offer, you were given a, a, a free holiday where they gave you um, $10,000 to say, or 10,000 pounds, whatever your currency is, right? To spend on this holiday. Um, and it's totally free. But then when it gets to it, you find out that that holiday is actually to the lower undead bug. Oh, this fire is made of knives, by the way. Just so you know, fire is absolutely made of knives. Yeah, hundred percent. Look, it's a knife fire. Knife fire. I would love to visit the Berg. Would you now? Would you? Uh, uh. Ow. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, right. So the question is, can I... Can I kill these guys in just one knife? Pretty good if I could. No, is the answer. No. There we go. Oh my god. Jesus. Literally blood... Lo oh no. <laughs> I made the absolute schoolboy error. Run away. Absolutely hate that backstab attack. So savage. And very difficult to avoid. Especially if you stupidly heal while you've got your back to them. But who would do that, right? Okay. Uh, it is indeed a throw. Oh my god, what is going on there? Put your shield down.
There we go. There we go. Okay. Good, good. Ah. <sighs> okay. Cool. All right. So, let's uh let's get heading down. Let's get the crusty tosset open um because Ain't nobody got time for running to Oswald every single time. You need some poison knives. You know what I'm saying, lads? All right. Here they come. Here they come. Can I just, uh... Can I just go and hide behind that fire like an absolute coward? I mean, it is made of throwing knives, so that should be legit, right? Ow. I don't even know where that knife that I got hit by came from then. I think he threw it through the door. That's definitely cheating. Yeah, okay. You know, we're using the knife fire. We're using the knife fire. We're using the knife fire. Okay, go, 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 go. So stupid. <laughs> love that. Absolutely love that. Okay. I believe that atoms are actually composed of tiny knives, therefore you can actually use anything made of atoms. Oh. Knife fire. Knife fire. No, knives do not scale with anything whatsoever. So the damage that you see is the damage that you get. They don't scale with any stats and you can't use like power within red tear stone ring or any of that jazz to boost up the damage any higher so yeah that's it oh my god that is so insanely brutal how much damage that is ah Maybe I just try and leg it. I've killed enough of them. Killed enough of them so far. There we go. Okay. Okay. We're, we're beelining it. We're beelining it. We're beelining it. Okay. Run for your knife. Run for your knife. Okay. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, okay. It's all right. It's all right. We're gonna. We'll be fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Well, that was pretty, pretty bloody terrifying, wasn't it? Oh my god, the dog is still there chasing me. Go away. These dogs, honestly. Ah. <sighs> You could not live with your fairy, fairy, and where's that led you? Back to me. Beautiful. Die. Bloody dogs. Ah, they're they're really doggedly relentless, aren't they? Okay. So poison throwing knife. Hooray! We can buy them much more easily now, which is awesome news. Probably buy a couple of Homeward Bones. Oh. And then, yeah, that's probably probably good for now. Come again. Okay, and then we should probably grab up a couple of uh, normal knives as well. Um, and then, an Orlando, baby. Well, no, actually Capra Demon, Capra Demon. Sorry, I said we're going to do Capra Demon. We're going to do Capra Demon. Oh, God, that's going to be awful. It's going to be so bad. Oh. I mean... Hey, JK, you're sounding dog-tired. <laughs> oh, good one. Good one. 
Solid. Okay. Oh yeah, we'll do we'll do Capra Demon and then depending on how much time there is, like I'll uh I'll maybe go to Anor Londo, or if not, we'll pick it up with another stream. Don't worry. There will be more. There will be more. When is the next DS2 video? Well, I'm working on it at the moment, but it's, um, yeah, pretty long. Probably April. Probably April. But I just finished uh, Dark Souls 3 video. Going to be dropping that next week. It's actually the longest video I've ever made. Thank you, kind. You could do a quick cheeky sif. Uh, I, I could do, but I want to get to Anne Orlando, um, really, to get... Uh, I want to get to Anne Orlando to get the, the, those other types of throwing knives. So, yeah, probably I'm going to prioritize that. I just, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Do four kings early. Jesus Christ. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. These guys, honestly. I mean, I could just homeward bone, I suppose, but. Alright. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. Okay. Yeah, the, the, this is the thing. The knife damage seems good now at the beginning of the game, but it is going to fall off pretty hard. The bleed knife should help for sure. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to make it either, but I got through. Pure skill, obviously. Absolutely unbridled skill. Okay. Got, oh, got, no, no rest. No rest. These guys just want to relentlessly chase me down. Um, well, I, yeah, as there's not much time left, I, would you guys prefer if I just went Anor Londo now? That might be more entertaining, right? Instead of faffing about with Capra Demon. <sighs> yeah, okay, let's do it. Screw the Capra Demon. No one likes him anyway. He doesn't get invited to anybody's birthday parties. I mean, there's a reason he's called the Capra Demon, right? Because that's what his boss fight is. Absolute cap. But, you know, I, I've heard a few people say when talking about the Capra Demon boss fight that he is... Um, that he is the goat. Goat obviously standing for giant offensive annoying twat. Alright, so. So, okay. What we'll do. Oh, <laughs> no, we got We. I, I need to stock up on bleed knives again. And, um. <laughs> you know what that means? Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe I do need to get Mr. Pepe Souls to um, uh, to put uh, uh, to put the Crestfallen Merchant into a different place because I'm just so absolutely incapable of jumping. Apparently, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, how did that miss me? How did that not hit? Yeah, repair the bridge. Okay, well. <sighs> okay. okay. First try. First try. Yep. First try. Okay. Right, um, let's munch that. Gaming, pure, pure gaming. Okay. Go 
Come along. Come and make something of yourself. All right. But this is the real, the real test, guys. My arch nemesis. I, 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 you know what? I, I, I wish I was some kind of comic genius and I was just like doing this just for, you know, just for lols, but genuinely I just am that bad at doing the jump. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just, why jump to the left? I just lost control of my hands, to be honest. Like, I've got the shake something bad. That's what happens when you get to an old age like mine. JK's true nemesis, a medium gap. Yeah, that's exactly it. Exactly it. <laughs> then you were telling me I'm bad at that. Uh, no, but, but that is true. Babs' arch nemesis in video games is platforming. 100%. 100%. Also, can we, can we give a, a shout out for Babs? Because recently she completed Bloodborne, Elden Ring, and all of the Dark Souls trilogy. Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. Can we just give a bit of a shout out for that? Because that's... Uh, I'm 30 and my hands are like neurosurgeon steady. All right, no need to brag, mate. Jesus. Right, should we should we watch this cutscene? It's a pretty nice cutscene, isn't it? Especially with my green little man there just getting grabbed by some gremlins. Though to be fair, I think he looks a bit more gremlin-like than they do. GG, Babs. How old are you? Uh, let's just say I'm closer to 40 than I am to 30. Let's put it that way. Okay, we made it. At least that was one jump my character was able to land. Didn't fall off the edge there. Okay. Okay, all right, so guys, um, given that this has been a run of many, many chokes, um, how many times do you think I'm gonna die on the rafters? I mean, the knives actually should be pretty helpful there, to be fair. But I'm also like, I don't want to waste too many of them. Although, the giant blacksmith does sell the final two types of knives, I believe. So if we get to him, we're in the money. Okay. None, you'll smash it. Oh, there, there, he, there's, there he is. There's a... There's a chap in who's just commented there, uh, Mr. Dean Evans, that says, None, you'll smash it. That That's actually uh, Devlington87. Uh, from any of the guys, um, for any of you guys that have seen um, uh, the Melee One Shot video, um, where he was uh, leaving comments asking about seeing Priscilla's feet, he's probably just popped into the chat now because he's realized where we are close to the painted world. Right, let's go. Oh. Come on. There we go. Yeah, can't wait to see Priscilla's feet. <laughs> yeah, you love it. You love it. Um, yeah, well, do you, do you know, um, uh, I'll tell you a little story about where that, that came from, actually. So, um, funnily enough, it ties back to the throwing knife video for Dark Souls 1, the first one I did. Um, where basically I I was really happy with that video. Actually, I was really like proud of uh, of like the editing and stuff, and I thought it was you know a cool little experiment to do a. Oh my god! No choke, choke. Um, it was a cool little experiment to you know do all that creepy pasta stuff at the end, um, and I sent it to my good friend Devlington eighty seven, being like. Hey, I, I'm really proud of this video. Let me know what you think. 
And you know what he comments underneath? Doesn't comment anything about the editing or the storytelling or any of the other cool stuff. All he comments was, why didn't you do Priscilla? That was the only thing he said, why didn't you do Priscilla? Um, and yeah, I was, I was deeply offended. Deeply offended. I'm joking, obviously not, but um, yeah, it was pretty funny. Oh my god, leave me alone, leave me alone. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to do it first try. I don't know if I'm going to smash it, but let's see. So I, so I try and do the crazy jump off the side. I feel like I've redeemed myself there. I've redeemed myself for all that crap in sends. Okay. First try. First try. Her feet, her feet are worthwhile adding to the video, I must say. About to put the breed in crossbreed Priscilla. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, right. Well, I should probably get this bonfire down here before doing anything really reckless. Like, let's go. Like running up there to the Anor Londo archer section. I pushed it the wrong way, haven't I? I pushed it the wrong way. Oh my god. Ah. Okay, Talk, talking and actually playing the game are still two things that are very new to me, apparently. And doing them at the same time, especially. Ow. Push the lever, push the lever, push the lever. Okay. There we go. Push it the way the stairs go. That'll help as a reminder which way to do this. <laughs> okay. All right. Actually, sorry. All right, Dark Souls. Okay, no, that was a that was a terrible press impression. That was a terrible, terrible impression. Okay. Right. Um, should I kindle this bonfire? Nah. All seen in smoke first try? Yeah, I, I wish, mate. I wish. That's what that's that's basically going to be my goal to finish off to at least get to all seen in smoke and have an attempt at them. Even if I don't do it now, um, yeah, that will be my goal. And then uh, if I don't do it, I'll pick it up on the next stream. Oh, my I, my aim here is just to give you guys at least one. Well, uh, yeah, one sight of me attempting uh, Smyrnaunstein. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. If I can get those other knives that the giant blacksmith have, then that'd be pretty good. Oh my god, you are press continue or whatever. Uh, no, that was uh, that was an uh, uh, absolutely horrific impression. Uh, okay. Right. Okay, but I mean, I'm I'm almost cert I'm almost certainly going to choke at the at this section with the Anor Londo archers. Like almost certainly, if I get past this first time, I will be absolutely oh. choked. Okay, that one of those got one of those little gremlins is gonna shoot me with lightning. I can just feel it. I can just feel it. Come on. 
Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Ob obviously, that happened due to um, incredible skill by me. By the moans, I'd say that your character likes getting hit. Yeah, sounds that way. Pure skill. Yeah, literally the most pure skill ever. Okay. <clears throat> Right, well, this one definitely 100% needs to be, uh, yeah, needs to be kindled. Probably should have done pinwheel to get 20 flasks, but, um, oh well. Yeah, what, what even does kindling do? Does that just mean that you can read books from the bonfire or something? Okay. No, I'm not going back for the right of kindling now. Absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, I might need to if, if, if things get desperate, but... Ten out of ten jump, as always, as you come to expect from this stream. That's uh, that's what I should title the stream for the future: "Green Men Can Jump." Right, let's go and get. Let's go and get some other knives here. Whoop. So I tried to give this guy uh, a body similar to how hench I am in real life. So that's why he's he's obviously like super ripped and stuff. Because you know, that, that's what I look like under this shirt. I'm not obviously going to show you guys. Because if I take my t-shirt off, you know, we'll probably get demonetized or something. But um, yeah, obviously, you know, you know, you can just trust me on that. What's your opinion on kindling? Do you think it should have stayed in all games or just be exclusive here? Um, <clears throat> yeah, good question. I, d I don't know. I go back and forth on that a bit. Uh, I mean... Yeah. It, I don't know. I, I, think, I think I like the system in the games that uh, came forward from this, to be honest, where, you know, you collecting shards allows you to increase the amount of, like, Estus that you have. Um, so, yeah, I, I, think, I think that works uh, a bit better than... Um, than kindling. Also, also, like, 20 Estus at some point feels, like, a bit excessive, to be honest. Um, and feels like you can just tank through a lot of stuff. Especially because you could go kill Pinwheel and get that, like, right near the beginning of the game. So, yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Um, toxic throwing knives and javelin. Big old thing. Um, so, yeah. Should we, should we get some of these? So, toxic. Uh, and then... So I can only carry 40 of the toxic ones, but that's fine. Um, and then javelin. Oh, you can only hold 10. Only hold 10 of those at a time, my friends. Okay. Now, the other thing. The other, the other thing, actually, there are so many different types that I don't actually have enough quick uh, item slots to use them all. So... I mean, I, I think this should probably be okay, but uh, maybe I'll swap these out for the toxic ones. Okay. Dung pie knives. Yeah, exactly. That's what we need. Imagine 100% kindling in Elden Ring. Uh... Okay. Right. Yeah, 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 you can toxic and poison at the same time, actually. Pretty sure that's true. Go, 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 go. Okay. Alright, here we go. Yeah, the javelin is a uh, something that's exclusive to this mod, I guess. Okay, come 
on, get those chuck emojis in the chat. It'll give me the motivation to succeed here. Okay, right, so. Um, what? Ow. That hit, that hit his hammer? not first try. Oh wow, he's, he's toxic already just from two. I didn't even notice. That's crazy. Ow. Go, 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 go. Flick through all this stuff is not ideal, right? Should we try a javelin? Just to see uh, see what this does. We just get in a good position to do so. Oh, first try and it hits the hammer. Oh my god, 341 damage. Wow. Okay, okay, that's pretty, that's pretty sweet. That is strong. Ow. Getting some serious poking here. Okay, come on, here we go. again. Okay, is he toxic again? No. Yeah, he is. He is. He is toxic again. Oh, I do not know how the hell I dodged that. <laughs> So if I could land another javelin on Smoke. There we go. Okay. That's looking good. easier now that it's just one on one. Oh, come on. Let's get some toxic in there.
Wait, hold on, is he gonna be locked in place now? No, he's not. Okay. I had that happen on the, uh, when I was doing, oh shit, I should concentrate. I don't wanna do another last minute choke, do I? Damn it. Damn it. Oh. Yeah, that is, uh, that is sad. No way. At the last minute. Unfortunate. Yeah, I choked it. I choked it there, guys. Choked harder than my ex-wife, Savage. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, that was, that was really, oh, I really, I really wanted to do that one first attempt. That's uh that's pretty unfortunate. Oh well. It's all good. It's all good. But it's definitely uh yeah, definitely 100% doable. Um the toxic alone just uh like it is great. Like I probably should have done that with Ornstein right at the beginning anyway. Um so I'll have a I'll have another attempt or two um and uh go from there. Go from there, but yeah, it's definitely, um, definitely doable. You didn't do it in the first attempt, you do it on the first try. That's right, that's right. Yeah, ja Javelin is really strong though. Like, that's, uh, that, that was a crazy amount of damage, uh, that was being done there. Also, I guess I am making this much harder on myself by the fact I've got, like, less Estus. I haven't upgraded them, I'm not wearing any armor, so... Yeah, this probably could be could be easier than I'm making it, but I guess this is supposed to be a challenge run, right? Right, there we go. Pop clear like so. There we go, okay. And stock up on those. Great. Alright. JK to win Dark Souls Game and Knife Time Achievement Award. <laughs> okay it's all good so also like I see a lot of people often kill Ornstein first whenever they do Ornstein and Smo um, but I find uh, yeah I, I find that I mean obviously it probably doesn't look like it from what just happened there but I generally find giant Ornstein easier to fight um, just because like the moveset is I, I that I find the moveset easier. That running charge that Smo does with the hammer loads, I just find really annoying. Um, and also, the shockwave from the butt slam is much smaller. Right, so let's get the toxic knives on the go. There we go. Great chest ahead. That's true. Although, maybe not this time. It's not going well. Come on. But thank you very much for the... Uh, thank you very much for the donation there. Much appreciated, as always. Push. The knives not using any stamina is, is a little bit ridiculous in some ways. Ow. Also, sorry again if I'm missing, like, chat messages and stuff. Just still, uh... Yeah. Just hard in focus, but hopefully it will end with uh, a victory for us. Go bleed knives. There we go, there was a nice little stagger. He... 
He's still toxic. Okay, cool. That's good. Going a little bit smoother. A little bit smoother than last time. Boom. Ow. Damn, I didn't think he was going to get me from that. Oh, come on. the toxic in and let's just uh let's just keep going with some bleed hopefully that will get the job done there we go it's just loves charging doesn't he oh come on oh fucking hell oh Okay, so, so, yeah, not ideal. Yeah, that, that was, I don't know what the hell that hitbox was. That was, like, yeah, I, I, I literally don't know what the hell that hitbox was. That was, uh, that was horrific. All right, um, okay. Damn. All right, I'm going to have one more crack at it, guys, and then uh, I need to finish up, unfortunately. Um... But, yeah, don't worry. I will be picking this up in a stream again sometime in the future. So, um, yeah, just... Uh, yeah, the worst kind of shitbox. Yeah, third time's the job. This will be... If I, if I don't do it this time, I'll... Uh, yeah, we'll finish up the stream here, and I'll come back to it on the next one. Um, but, yeah, God, that was that was very annoying. That, that literally... I, I thought I was safe there, so I didn't dodge. I didn't realize that I was going to get struck again. But what can you do? Maybe, maybe I use the, the Javelins more for Super Ornstein. Um, because, like, yeah, I think it's just more instant damage from each hit. Maybe that's what I should have done. Should have, would have, could have, right? Oh. Cheat. Oh. <laughs> no, no, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Oh. Yeah, damn. I really should... I'm, I'm really paying for my hubris here, not getting the Firekeeper Soul and upgrading the Estus. That health restore is just absolutely pitiful. Oh god, this is a disaster. Such a disaster. Okay. It's also like the the other thing I've I've really noticed like after playing Elden Ring, uh, the lock on in the other games has such a short range, like unless you're like very close, a lot of the time the lock on just doesn't work, which is what I've been sort of experiencing here. Like I want to lock on to Smo, but it sometimes just doesn't uh, just doesn't let ya. And unfortunately, I am fairly dependent on lock on for this build, but 
Okay, come on. Let's go. Oh, come on. This is not going well so far. <laughs> not been a good run. Okay, come on, come on. Go. Just want to get this toxic in, man. Let me lock on to the big guy. There we go. Finally. Finally. Jesus. Oh, no. It hit the hammer. It hit the hammer. God, it's just all going wrong. I don't, I don't think this is it. I don't think this is it, unfortunately. Not it, not it. Uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm a, bit, a bit tired. Some of that dodging was uh, was not on point. Yeah, they cut me down like a lawn smur. That's exactly it. Yeah. Also, like, yeah, Ornstein's dash is a bit, a bit dodge. It's all right. It's all right. We'll, uh, we'll get him next time, guys. We'll get him next time. Um, but yeah. Um, so I think I'm going to finish off here. Guys, thank you so much for attending, for like donating, all this kind of stuff. It really means a lot. Um, so yeah, greatly appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed enjoyed this. Um, and yeah, I'll let you guys know about when the, uh, when the, when the next stream is going to be. Um, have a good one um, and see ya.